Oh no. Okay. Are we are we unmuted now? I should probably start doing an introduction or something, huh? Skippity yippity. To... We good to go. Mr. Yeah, whatever y'all are. Drop. Good. Okay. Oh, were y'all uh, talking to me? Oh, sorry. I had my headphone off. Okay. We good to go. We, uh, we are muted. We are goaded. We are Gucci Bucci. Hey. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to our next session of Digimon Vital Grid with uh, File 7. Decadent Desserts at the Saccharine so Soiree. I could not have made that title more complicated for myself. <laughs> so, last time, you all did a bit of an investigation. Various Digimon had been disappearing in the um, subway system, the trains that go through this region of the well, of the city, the large city of New Chester that you all have found yourself living in. There, you found two alien Digimon. A, well, ones that Seems like aliens, but they're from the digital world, so I guess all Digimon are aliens. Technically, I'm saying. Yeah. They had been kidnapping Digimon through the help of one called Mimicmon, a Digimon which had been encasing Digimon inside its cage-like body. After poking around the computer systems, you found they had plans to... Um, well, they had plans to seem to make some sort of chimera of multiple Digimon fused together. Now... With that all completed, you all have completed a bit of a more long-term goal you had. Getting an invitation to a soiree run by a certain Digimon known as Weddingmon. Weddingmon being an influential Digimon who... The whole goal, seemingly, within the digital society is to host these large uh, parties, these gatherings, these soirees. And in doing so, bring together Digimon from disparate parts of the digital world. Trying to foster the communication between Digimon from across the digital world. Well, we all left off with you receiving the invitation to the soiree, which had been a goal of yours, helping various Digimon around the city to receive an invitation to this illustrious event, in hopes of meeting another Digimon known as Wizardmon there. It is rumored that the Digimon associated with the Arcane, all the Wizardmon, Witchmon, Sorcerymon, that they, their code does not originate from the digital world itself, but rather a near alternate reality. And thus, there was hopes that Wizardmon's code containing some of this reality-bending magic may be able to have knowledge of how exactly Digimon got to the digital world and what's been happening. And your ultimate goal was to meet Wizardmon at this event. As you all last session received a fairly nice invitation, and I at least started trying to find fancy clothing to wear to this social gathering. And I think we'll pick up there. Let me move us to our new Chester map here. Oh, if it actually moves over. There we go. What would you all like to do? Uh... Uh, I'm trying to think. Are we still, we're still at the store, right? Or are we not at the store anymore? I can't remember. That's um, a good question. When we left off, you all were kind of like free to explore the city, kind of do some downtime activity in the um, leading up to it, this large fancy event. Oh, okay, that's right. Me and, me and Rion were sorting some stuff out, I believe. So I made a bow tie. Yeet. We got bow ties for the Digimon. Um, trying to think else what me and Rion was doing. Oh, yeah, I think uh, I I want to say Dren is in the kitchen, but I feel like Rion would tell Dren to get out of the kitchen from the past experience. You can walk in the uh, kitchen and get a drink. Just don't cook anything. He makes like a Dren makes a protein shake. Uh, I guess Rian would just be making bows and bow ties and putting them in a bag just for everyone else's Digimon, just to give them some flair. And uh, I think I'm also just gonna 
see what happens if I give Palmoimon a fruit uh, protein shake. And uh, and Pawnee, if Pawnee wants it. Yeah, I think Palmoimon's very excited. Kind of, I think Palmoimon's just generally very excited to be around you. <laughs> you get sense that Palmoimon really looks up to you. Like, head pets palm, uh, Palmoimon and, like, puts the protein shake into, like, a, um... Uh, like, I want... I want to say, like, a dog bowl, like an old dog bowl we used to have, but I also... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's, like, weird to Palmoimon, but, yeah. Yeah, no, I think Palmon does not think twice about it. Not having the social construct of what a pet even is, Palmon begins happily yeah. drinking a protein shake out of a dog bowl on the ground. Okay. And then uh, I'll give Pawnee a, uh, like, a, a protein shaker bottle to drink out of, too. <laughs> yeah, a little pawn chessmon will grab this, and almost like a big baby bottle begins sipping protein shake. Seemingly a little perturbed by the taste. It it's it's a, it's good for you, Pawnee. <laughs> it get it make you big and strong. I shut his little bit and begins drinking a little more kind of side eyeing Rion, being like, Do I have to drink those? I mean it's good for you. Like like my hand shaking as I go for one and take a sip. Yeah, mm. um, Trend, could you describe to me what your protein shakes taste like? Um, I'll be vomit. So it's a mix of... <laughs> okay. Surprisingly flavored protein powder, so it's not like anything that's kind of gross. So it's got like a uh, caramel taste with a bit of banana and strawberry. So that's basically what it would taste like. Oh, nice. With a bit of milk. Mmm, yay, yummy. A lot of flavors. <laughs> a lot of flavors. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Lot. <laughs> it's good for you, Fanny. Mmm. So good. Jen, Jen, uh, Jen's just laughing in the kitchen with, with, behind the door. It's just like, yep. Just gonna smile and walk away real quick. For no reason. And I guess we go over to drop. I'm just yeah. chilling at home. Just enjoying myself, yeah. waiting for the next uh, thing we have to do. I uh, forgot what the email you, was. As you're kind of chilling, you do kind of smell something. There's this kind of oh. like smells of meat cooking from the kitchen. Wait, Hookmon, is that a cook? Would you like to check it out? Yes, out? I would like to check it out. I want that um, super. Walking over, you see that the oven is wide open and on full blast, and Hookmon on that large metal hook has stuck a large, like, chicken, and almost like a rotisserie chicken style, just holding it in the oven at full blast. What? What? I don't even know how to... He's roasting a chicken in an oven? It appears so. Uh, it's the whole chicken... I can't... I don't even know. Uh... I would like I would like to turn the oven off and take the chicken and hand him a bag of potato chips and say, um, Here. as you grab the chicken, the like hot oils immediately burn your hand a little bit. You oiled it up and everything. <laughs> just throw it on the stove. Kind of looks a little like dejected. I, I didn't want to bug you, so I thought I'd make my own meal. I would like to up open the cupboard with all the snacks. There's probably beef jerky and some stuff in there. And just point and say, grab this. Yeah, but I saw someone eating chicken the other day when we were walking through town. That looked really good. Where did you even get a chicken? No. Where'd she? Well, I... When you were taking a nap earlier, I walked out. I walked down to the store. I picked one up. Then I walked back. Oh, my. Oh, my. Um, Did you pay for it? What do you mean? Oh, God. 
<laughs> I would like to dispose of the chicken in the trash as soon as possible. Okay. The, you do have to unhook it from Hookmon's um, large hook. Oh, that's going to be hard. Uh, I grab two tonsils and I put uh, a, mitt, a mitten on my hand and I try to grab it. Oh, yeah. You are able to eventually kind of slide it off the hook and into the trash can. The console is ejected and then you use, use the hook to like stab a bag of beef jerky and open it up and pour into the, the void that is its face. Oh, Lord. It's that's bad that I don't know how to cook now. He doesn't know how to cook either. This is not good. I should honestly remodel and get rid of the kitchen. Okay. Uh, tell him that he's not in trouble. Just next time, eat all the snacks up. We can get chicken next time we're out. I'll put chicken on your pizza next time we get pizza. Sounds good. Yeah, thank you. As I get, I'll give him. I'll give him some candy. I have like, let's say, I have like a bag of Skittles in my pocket. I like to hand him the Skittles, yeah. and I'll just go off and read my book and wait, go about my day. Perfect. SMH hook him on. I can't believe he just grabs a chicken and then tries to cook it in an oven like that. Like a whole chicken? Was it just like like the whole chicken? Let's see. It or was a it was a whole, it was oh. like there it wasn't like a whole chicken with like everything. It was like you know, you buy like a chicken that you So yeah, like it convenience had like, store kitchen. It was plucked and raw, like grocery store chicken. Okay, okay. Was it seasoned and stuff? Only oil. <laughs> there <laughs> Only was some oil. You get the sense kind of looking at it in the trash can. It appears that any seasonings and oil was shot out of a cannon on this thing. Yeah. And it's kind of like oh, horribly God. splattered across it. So it's probably just like a circle of spices. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's one way to spice up your meal. Uh, he's something, all right. But he did steal. That is an issue. Yeah. Um. That. So, Janie and Searchmon, how are you two doing? We're doing all right. Um, just been going through practicing our martial arts as best we can, trying to get Searchmon a bit better at them. You know. Oh yeah. I think Searchmon does take a little bit of practice here, but yeah. yeah, you get the sense that its new form seems to have less of an emphasis on its front legs, which means you kind of have to reapproach the martial arts. It's honestly a little bit of like a fun challenge as someone who teaches a lot of kids who maybe aren't too coordinated with their bodies quite yet and kind of helping with that hand-eye coordination. You're able to kind of like help out a bit more, figure out kind of where the weight should be shifted. It's kind of a fun challenge as a teacher. Yeah, and yeah, just that as well as doing any work shifts that come up because, you know, I can't be taking too much time off um, for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. But money is useful for food, as we have evidenced by um, Pokemon stealing a rotisserie chicken. No, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. I can absolutely <laughs> believe that the son of the uh, mafia member walked in I and would just never, yoinked the chicken. I would never teach my child to do such a horrendous thing. Yeah, no, instead you're teaching him things like bullets of candy and stuff like that. He we did remember, do that. We remember. <laughs> he did eat that, didn't he? Oh, and he's in mess. Do any of you have anything nice to do before you go and uh, before you go off to the soiree this evening? No, I'm ready. I believe you all have fancy little outfits. Oh, did my flash grenades come in? Oh, yeah. I think uh, you get a you get like a knock on the door, and as you go to open the door, you don't see anyone there, but there is kind of like a. What looks like an Amazon box, but you know well enough that 
no Amazon box. <laughs> no... Yeah, th- yeah that, it seems like this is the exact Amazon brand tape that they use. I see. The code box. Amazon Black. Dark Amazon. Yeah. Dark Amazon? So just regular Amazon? Pretty much. No real changes. <laughs> no real changes. Yeah. All right. And then, um, that you, the instructions and the invitation takes you to kind of like a lavish, extravagant part of town. It's in kind of that ritzy downtown area where it's all about like the glamour and everything like that. And. As you are kind of looking around, maybe exploring around just a little bit, it the address leads you to what appears to be a very nice hotel. It's one of those like old ones that you just know has like some sort of memorial plaque somewhere being like built a hundred years ago by this person and this person. And it's kind of like fanciful talk. And the instructions lead you to going into the kind of through the large area towards the event rooms of the hotel. But kind of veering off and going into the side storage closet before the event rooms. And upon entering that storage closet, you see yourself in a very different area. Music fills the air with well, very loud music. Oh, it's getting music, fancy. Music fills the air as the entire area feels lavish. It's <laughs> there's these large kind of Almost satin banners draped across. Big golden chandelier hanging from the ceiling and other light fixtures adorning the area. Fancy candles decorating the area even. It even smells fancy. There's this kind of hint of rose wafting across the entire area. And while taking in this area... Allow me to put all your Digimon in here. You notice, you're kind of like noticing, oh, there's all these candle lights everywhere. But one of the candles seems to be hopping towards you. As you see it, what well, you can only assume to be a Digimon walking up. And it has a little clipboard and it has a pen kind of stuck into the wax on the side of its head. And it kind of hops up and it says, well, welcome, welcome everyone. Can I get your name, please? Uh, who wants to start first? I'll start first. Hi, my name is Drop. This is Hookmon. And um, we got the, the crew here, I guess you can say. We got the invitation. Drop. Oh, let's drop it, Hookmon. Please. Let's see here. Oh, there's your name on the list. Feel free to go on in. And the crew All am right. I to assume this is the Dren and Parasormon. And along with... E- yep. That's uh, Dr- I'm Dren. Parasormon, is- Janie, and Searchmon. Rion and... Looking around. Oh, Gladimon. Yeah, yeah, here, present. Oh, sorry. Perfect. You all accounted for. Enjoy the soiree. Here, I can have Shortmon show you to the area. Shortmon, as you see a, another Digimon begin to pop out from the area, it appears to have a head that is a slice of cake and wearing a small bl- butler uniform. It seems I love to have some his sort outfit. Of tail. The, the tail also appears to simultaneously be kind of like a big poof of frosting. As Shortmon kind of comes up to you all and says, Welcome, welcome. I can show you to the soiree here. So excellent to have you. Many of our guests are already in attendance. Now, I must be quite honored to get an invitation from Weddingmon here. She should be showing up shortly, and I forgot to make the song loop. <laughs> I would like she should to, be showing uh... up sh- in just a moment here. Digimon just pulls you out a drive. remote that just turns back on the music. <laughs> and kind of showing you into this large hall, you see a variety of Digimon already occupying the area. Flying in the sky, you notice a few different ones. This... Oh, I'm on that roll 20. I would this like to... almost mm. grim Le- Reaper looking one drifting across the sky. Wow. Oh, jeez. And almost this, like, stark parallel, you see two angelic Digimon floating in, on the other side of the room, chatting amongst each other, chatting to each other. Oh. 
Oh, Lord. Running up the staircase, you see a familiar Digimon, Ranamon, who you'd previously encountered, seeming to head to some sort of, like, dessert table that has a variety of different snacks. Hanging out and chatting, you see a pair of Digimon that are a little familiar to you at this point. Uh oh. Oh, they made it. Oh. They got Heading... Honestly, surprised they let the junk in. <laughs> Heading up and down the stairs is some more familiar faces scattered all, faces scattered all about. Did you want to encounter previously and some you have yet to see? You do rec see a few other humans here as well. All right. You see, along with Perfect. one you recognize and one that you do not quite yet. Right. Uh, uh, um, Drop, did you have something you wish to do in this as you yes, arrive? Yes, I would like to... Uh whisper to Hookmon being like anything that looks like food don't eat it we're pointing towards sad, the cake sad eyes. it's like sad sad eyes he goes, not even the mini cupcakes check if they have eyes first <laughs> okay and Shortmon kind of makes up and says oh yes feel free to help yourself to the dessert tables we have some cakes we have some um, crumbles we do have some hors d'oeuvres as well, some cheese and crackers. You should try the gray stuff, it's delicious. I look at Hookmon and I'd be like, go right ahead and eat, but please double check for eyes. <laughs> maybe I should talk to Parasaurumon just so he's not like taking up the room just to maybe go into Pomumon, just so he's yeah. not insanely like. Yeah, for the sake of management, you get a nod from Parasaurumon as it shrinks down into the more easily maneuverable Pomumon. Kind of hopping up and That's fluttering with little friend. wings, and yeah. Uh, Pomumon, if you, you can, you can eat as much fruit as you want. Just don't eat all of it. Okay. You see, Pomumon's about to eat someone's head. <laughs> you see, Pomumon fly up, and it begins to find a fruit platter, and just begins to gorge itself. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Let me. I think Duran is gonna go split for the group and go talk to Quinton while the rest of the group do the thing. Yeah, near the back here, you find Quinton, the one who you had previously worked with to help out Ranamon and the tamer for Gomamon, another, a fellow human who found a strange egg in their phone. Okay. Queen kind of gives um, you a nod and says, Oh, nice to see your familiar face here. It's always a good pleasure to meet you again. Um, do you, do you still know your days of uh, facts of uh, animals and stuff from when we used to work together? Yeah, yeah, you know, you got all those facts about crabs and all the different critters out there. Okay. Yeah, I think uh yeah, I think it I think me and Quinta will just talk and then the camera can go pen somewhere else. I, I would like to uh on. there's two people I'd like to talk with, but I would like to start with the girl and the dog I intimidated. <laughs> yeah, and uh, walking up in your a snazzy outfit. Yeah, of course. With my don't forget my my, my new tie. It's a different color. Your new tie. It's a different shade of Walk black. Up, and there what appears to be a high school age girl with a small um, Digimon that you previously met known as Salomon. It, assuming this is the same Salomon. Uh, that's what I assumed, yes. Yeah. Walking up the Salomon kind of backs up a little bit. And he's going to kind of instinctively position herself in front of her Digimon. Nope, that's behind. In front of her Digimon. And she says, can I help you? Um, I was, uh, wondering if she remembers, uh, us at all. I'd like to know if she remembers at all. Remembers you? I've never met you before. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Do, do you remember a giant lizard in the sky and there was a cat that attacked it? Oh, are you talking about the Kitty Crusaders, that cool superhero duo? Oh, yeah, I forgot that's what their name was. Um, yeah, if you have any, uh information about him could you contact me i'd like to hand over my email before i walk away 
What, why are you interested in them? Um, my friend Hookmon, he, he, he says he loves superheroes, so he just wants their autograph and whatever. I put him on blast. Okay. <laughs> now, I will say it's a little bit creepy as like a 20 year old man walking up to a high school girl and. Think of me as a detective. Um, I, I'm a detective, so I work with the police station. Another lie. <clears throat> Can I have you roll me a charisma check? Oh, God. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you got charisma, don't you? Um, in the negatives. No. <laughs> you all have negative charisma. We all. Can I, can I, like, signal to Rion to look up on top of a balcony, the wizard man? I think that's <laughs> who we have to talk to. Yeah, that's who I'm talking to next to. So I'm trying to get away from the situation. Oh no. Me badly telling Rion, guy with pointy hat above us. I would have had a seven if it wasn't for that minus one. Which is six is a failure. He's gonna go, okay. And just kind of like in the back away a little bit, kind of freaked out by you. Ah, and my social skills suck. The Salomon kind of like steps in front of her and kind of just like eyes a little bit. I just wave and walk away awkwardly. I'd like to go over to you Wizard tried. Mon and I'd like to ask Janie to accompany me. Someone that might have a little bit more of a brain than me. Yep, I walk over and I'm just going to give you a look. I just look down in shame. Yeah, walking over, you do see this Digimon that you have met um, Jinko, who unfortunately was not able to make it this evening. Um, Jinko's Flame Wizardmon. They assume that this Digimon might be Wizardmon due to the similar hat and overall appearance. Yeah, I just figured he was a wizard because he has a hat. Yeah, and the cloak and a staff. Yeah, that that is the giveaway. Okay, can can we just uh, appreciate that sentence out of context? I just assumed he was a wizard because he has a hat. It's course, of course. He's a, he must be a wizard. <laughs> it's a wizard hat. Obviously. I'm just like I'm just picturing some fucker with the beach with just like you know a sun hat and it's just like that. That is a fucking wizard. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> Imagine walking up to someone and doing that. Be awful. Yes, yeah, the mighty look. <laughs> you just run up to someone and be like, "That, that is a wizard right there." You, you're a thirty-year-old man. <laughs> okay, we all want to walk you. up to the wizard. <laughs> okay. As you uh, see uh, it. And then, like, when they take off their power, their hat, it's like, You have forsaken your power! Oh, my lord. It's a, it's a parry. It's a parry of the platypus situation. Exactly. A man. A wizard! <laughs> Oh lord, let's walk up to the wizard. <laughs> let's walk up to the sidetrack. <laughs> yeah, so you walk up and there's a wizard. You know because it has a hat. Of course. Uh, there, This wizard like Digimon sitting on the edge of the railing, kind of surveying the area, keeping an eye on things. He kind of looks over to all of you and says, or to those approaching, says, Well, hello. Can I help you? Um, I heard that you know stuff about, uh, how do I put, digital gates, I guess you would call it? Ways from the digital world to here? Yes. Well, I, and then it's cut off by the sounds of doors slamming open as you see a tall figure walking into the room from the back of the room opposite where you all entered. Darn it. You see a Digimon that you can only assume to be Wedding Mon based on the entrance and the ostentatious entrance and the large cake like dress. This like sickening sweet smell filling the room as it shouts out Welcome one, welcome all to the first soiree of the human world. I hope you all have found your time in New Chester enjoyable thus far, and this help unifies you all greatly. Now, please remember 
that during this event, any form of combat or physical altercations are strictly prohibited. But Everyone on the side, drop. <laughs> let the soiree officially commence. With the laughing, dancing, and of course the food. I must say, I personally recommend the cake. Let's have this um, this long, exaggerated laugh that echoes throughout the room. As you see, Wedding Mon then position itself kind of in the front of the room, surveying everything. Why around. do I? Why do I imagine her having like the royal like anime laugh, which is foo, 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 every... oh, that's exactly what I imagined as well in my head. I just did not want to attempt to recreate it. <laughs> how, how old is uh, um, how old is this lovely lady? Um, so lovely. You get the sense this is a Digimon. Oh. And that Digimon do not quite have an age the same way as yours, as humans. Mm, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You think it's a Digimon? It could just be a woman in a costume. You have no idea. Yeah, True. We can see right but... through her from the looks of it, I think. Is there a uh, husband mod anywhere around here? Oh, wait, no, that's just the outfit. You see the eyes. I'm just wondering. I'm asking for wizard mod, of course. Uzumon kind of turns back to you and says, Wedding Mon is always so extravagant. What can I help you with? Wizardmon's asking, uh, tell, oh yeah, oh. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the portals, no, the gateway, um, what's it? The otherworldly stuff. I nudge, I, I, I nudge Janie like, help me here. Sends a message to Drock. Ask about the portals to the other world. I just did. The wizard one. Yeah. Wizard one. A good friend of mine named uh, Professor Agumon, I think, told me that Down you below. had a. Uh, oh, yeah. The person below us told us that you know stuff about the other world. Oh, where y'all come from. Oh, yes. So, I am. I have some knowledge of interdimensional travel. Are you looking for more information on that? I am. Wizardmon's IQ well, is too high for me. Let's see here. What exactly were you hoping to find out? Well, you see. That's a good question. I was wondering, uh, is there a way to go there? Oh, fascinating. You wish to venture into the digital world. Well, I just well, want to, like, take a peek. <laughs> yes, a peek. Maybe a little longer well, than a peek. The travel to the digital world is not something I'm currently able to do. Oh. You see, it is quite a rough predicament, so to speak. Do you... Have you been told about how we originally came to this human world? Probably. Actually, I don't know. I okay. have bad memory. It is quite alright. One cannot expect someone to have a master of their mind. Well... The journey to the digital world was a unique one. There was not a... T All across the digital world, various portals opened that began absorbing Digimon into them, forcing them out of the digital world without any control over it. I do remember some yeah. aquatic creature saying that. I think However, it was the aquatic one. I have a little more information. Due to my knowledge of these portals and of the magics of the world, I was able to delay my, well, absorption into this d dimension for just a little bit of time. I see. What I was able to find out is that, well, I think those portals were to protect us. Protect? Wait, protect you by sucking you away into a different world? Before I left, I 
saw something. What'd you see? Two figures on the horizon, distant, but so large you could see them, despite the size. A massive figure towering over the rest of the world. Oh, Lord. And one large in its own right, but small compared to this other figure. And as the portals opened, I think it was to have us escape from that. It then proceeded to the second figure, the smaller one, trembled and separated. I swear it was there one moment, another moment, there were thousands of small cascading entities falling down throughout the digital world. So would you say that the digital world's in trouble? Yes, I would. So that can mean a lot of things. So you think somebody's trying to destroy it or take it over or like what conquest? What do you think's going on? I am not too sure. Oh, Lord. That was the most I was able to find out before I was, well, sent here. I see. But there could be trouble brewing. Hmm. I don't really have any more questions, but I do have some friends who'd probably like to ask some questions. I'd like to wave over at Shin and uh, Rion and Janie. Well, Janie's next to me. Just Rion. And ben. Oh. Yeah, and actually, while this is going on, I'm going to hop over to Sh um, Shin and Rion. Actually, I think just Rion, as Jane is ha hanging out with, um, with his old college friend. Mm -hmm. Rion. Yes. You hear a voice very close behind you. Uh, nearly whispering in your ear. That says. You are someone who. Harbors a hidden sadness. Are you not? Hello? Uh, turning around. You are face to face with this. Grim reaper looking Digimon on the top left corner. Oh, Lord. As it hovers oh. directly behind your head. Oh lord. Uh, uh, hi. Are you here for the party, too? Yes. Uh, my name's Rion. Why don't you, uh, you come down here and talk for a second? And it is actually currently floating. It was d behind your shoulder like just a moment oh. ago. Oh, so I, I so as you turned around, you were face to face with it. Yeah. Um, it kind of like goes a little closer to you and says, Phantomon. Phantomon? Who's that? Hey. That is my name. Oh. Uh, it's uh, nice to meet you. What, what were you saying earlier? You... I can tell there's a sadness within you, is there not? You are someone who, well, works hard to be independent. You cook, you clean, you sew. But you had to do that because of your parents. Always off on their business trips, always away, always working. How does this guy know so much? It's, uh, I mean, I enjoy cooking and sewing. It's not bad. And parents give us, me and my brother, a good time to live a good life, you know? I, I'm not sad about anything. Uh, I'm having a good life, and I got uh, Gladimon here too, and everything is everything's good. Uh, how do you know so much? It is my job, and you see it begin to levitate and fly away. Uh, I 
kind of look down on the ground a little bit and I kind of like shrink, like shrink myself a little bit. Take I didn't hear breath. Drop calling you over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no time I'll, to salt, I'll soldier. A, <laughs> I'll be over there in a second. I don't, I don't know if I let anyone see me kind of sulking for a second. I kind of, it was like just a moment where I'm like, I like try to shrink, but like I'm startled. Thanks to me, you don't even get a moment. Thanks. No. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll rush over. To where Drop is. Hey, Drop, what, what's up? Um, we got Wizardmon here. He's uh answering our questions about the other world. Oh. Um, are you from the other world? Oh, yes. Pleasure to meet you. I am Wizardmon. Uh, Rion. Of course, originally from the digital world and the transport involved in that. I was just being asked about what exactly was happening in regards to that. Uh, Coming from the digital a... world to the human world here. I do have a question, if you don't mind me asking. Yes. I know there was a bunch of Digimon that got sent over here physically. Uh, but then a bunch of us got these random maps and Digimon that weren't from the digital world started showing up. Do you know anything about that? Oh. Interesting. As Wizardmon kind of speaks with this slow cadence as if every single sentence revolves. Involve, revolves around like a long thought process. Well, hmm. That is quite strange to me. I do not know why that would be. To my knowledge, the portals that opened threw Digimon into this world across the city. It's strange that it seems to be concentrated in the New Chester area. You know if there's any Digimon outside of the New Chester area? That is or... what I find peculiar, as I have not heard of any. And is this... Do you know of this area we're in right now? It's one of those digital spaces? I know some of you yeah. guys can make digital spaces. Yes, Weddingmon is a potent Digimon that can create these digital spaces. It has reached the um, ultimate level. A step above what your partners and myself appear to reach. Question. Would Weddingmon be on the same level as uh, that guy over there? I point to Arbormon. Mm. Arbormon, the guardian of wood. Weddingmon would be above Arbormon in its current form. However, Arbormon should have access to its beast form, a form where it transforms into a larger entity. Why does... Why does and that would be on the same level as Weddingmon. Why do some Digimon evolve like in multiple stages, but some have just two. Do you know why? An excellent question. Some Digimon are capable of evolution. We all grow and change as we age. However, I... It seems like you all handle evolution differently. I was originally a Digimon as Impmon, but by growing and practicing my arcane prowess, I was able to take on this form. Mm. And I am not able to return to my Impmon form. So it's quite peculiar to me that your ally was able to take Parasormon and turn it back into Palumon. I think there were a couple other stages before that point, and we can go down to that. I wonder if having Digimon as eggs in your phones, you said, had influenced the, well, 
have influenced the way they grow and change. Um, do you remember anything about the area you first appeared in the world? I was... I was in the area that I feel like was almost humorous because it resembled me as a Digimon a little bit. I was in a, well, a fortune-telling shop. The one that did tarot readings. Any electronical devices nearby? Well, in this city of Dinchester, there appears to be electronic devices everywhere. Hmm. So I'm curious if maybe electronic devices are the portals. Hmm. You know, we could probably track down one. If, if you have time, theory. if you have time later, uh, maybe we can go over to where you first appeared and I can... Try to look around the area. Yes, perhaps. That seems like a wise decision. Seeing if you can find any hints or anything that could assist. Ah. Uh, yeah. Do you guys well, have any oh, questions? I do believe I never quite finished your other question as well. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Why some Digimon evolve and others have form changes. It simply depends on the individual. The... Uh, There's a series of Digimon known as the Legendary Warriors that possess spirits. For example, Randomon possesses the spirit of water. There's a humanoid spirit and a beast spirit. Mm. Now, Arbormon possesses, and you kind of clicks you in here a little bit, and you remember Randomon mentioned having her beast spirit stolen from her. And Arbormon mentioned that it had, and you remember that. Armon had its humanoid spirit stolen from it. Would having, say, stolen one of these forms from them give you guys power? Hmm, it could, perhaps. The actual transformations bound behind these spirits are difficult. They require to be attuned with the spirit itself, which will either take some time or need some, well, powerful Digimon. But the spirits themselves hold great power attuned to their elements. Perhaps they could be used as some sort of or some sort of ritual. For example, if I had access to, let's say, a spirit, I may be able to form magical feats that I am not able to do on my own. Say, like, a uh, portal to this world? Perhaps. Hmm. Do you know of any of the legendary warriors that would want to make a portal? Perhaps they'd be able to, but... I'd like to butt in and say that uh, me and my friends have seen someone make a portal with a gun. And they seem to be alien looking Digimon. Oh, yes. So. Those would be more forms of teleportation. Oh. Sounds like you're describing a Vaidemon. You know them? I know of them. I do not know them personally. Oh, okay. But I believe that what we're most looking for is the inner is travel between the human digital world, which is not something I'd even heard of before. Well, in theory, with enough power and my specific arcane knowledge, I may be able to take that journey. In practice. I do not believe that the legendary warriors would have the will to. They, after all, serve the Olympus 12, the 
um, the deities that rule over the digital world. Hmm. Hmm. And for all of these portals to open simultaneously, it appears that Digimon all across the digital world had undergone these portals all at once. It seems like something is, well, no single Digimon could make that much of an impact. So you think it might be like a group or an, like a, how do I put it? Like a organization of site? It could be, yes. I would like to look over the edge and look where Shin is, see if he's hurrying up or not. Hey, Shin, are you on your way over? Yep, sorry, me and Quentin just finished the conversation. Yeah, I'll hold up. Oh yeah, Qu you and Quentin are comparing crab fossil records? Yep. Yeah. I win, by the way, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Walks up the stairs. Uh, oh, is is this the wizard mon that um that we've been hearing about a lot? Yep, and they have a lot of information. Stuff I don't even understand. Which, well, that's mm. not surprising. But I'm trying to think of the questions. I think you guys asked the majority of the questions I had on top of my mind. What was our original? We just got an invitation, right? Yes. So shouldn't we go to the person who gave us the invitation? Yeah, true. We can just hit up. We can give a... Uh... Actually, wait. Do they even have a device of contact? Wizard one? Do you have uh, uh, any contact info that makes sense to you? I do not have the same email system that others traditionally do. However... Now that I have a chance to network with Professor Agumon, I should be able to get... Professor Agumon should be able to contact me in the future. Oh, okay. That's helpful to know. We need Wizardmon, we have Agumon. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, if y'all guys are ready, let's go talk to the host, I guess, if they allow us. Sure. Well, let me... Uh, Rian, you do the talking, because if Drop does it, I think we uh, can... What? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I I can talk to her. Yeah, good. <sighs> Should we get everyone else or are we all here? I think I so. Think we're all here, yeah. Yeah, we're uh, all here. Okay. Uh whenever you guys are ready. Hi hi, Captain. Yeah, you see, we're... as you're going to walk up, Wedding Month is going to turn to you and take notice of you. Uh, Dren will proceed to do a kind of path bow to formal. I'll do a curtsy. Oh. Please see manners being done here. I just Pleasure sit there not bowing. I <laughs> just sit there. Smack Stroff on back your head. Bow, idiot. <laughs> what are they, a princess or something? Yes, probably. Look at their outfit. It's formal. Just do it. I bend my head down. <laughs> it's just look back up. Do like a terrible yes. bow. Here we go. <clears throat> um, wedding mon. It is an honor to talk to you. This is a lovely party you have here. There's a lot of Digimon and people here. You must be an amazing person to have gathered all these here. Oh, uh, well, I thank you. Although I am not a person, I am a Digimon. How could you? Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> but, no. It is my duty. I follow the Olympus 12 member Venusmon. The Digimon of well, strictly her duty is love. However, that is a flexible concept. I see. You see, so? love could be 
maternal love, familiar love, platonic love. I work to... Uh, hmm. I work to, to focus the digital, the Digimon across the digital world. Here in my domain, fighting is not allowed. Instead, it's a chance to communicate with others, talk amongst ourselves, focus on Digimon. I we are see. here not to fight as many Digimon's natural instincts would, but rather communicate and spread the cooperation amongst the digital world. Shoot, then I must be one of the Digimon. Yes. So, well, I often have good Digimon with opposing ideals, some that many would label as villains, but that doesn't matter here. Hero, villain, neutral party. If you had done anything notable within the digital world, I wish to invite them here. Here are Digimon that I believe have done things notable within the human world. Kind of gesturing across the Digimon of the room. We have some of the legendary warriors, Arbormon. We have the professor and its assistant, Junkmon and Lightmon, who were Campbell. a newer addition to the invite list. But they had assisted you in, well, in helping the Trailmon. Oh, Along yeah, with that, I remember that guy. They have been been working with other Digimon to recycle other things. You Teaching see, uh, some Digimon of new ways to exist in the human world. I invited Eliza as well, but she was unable to attend due to her job, as she said. Hmm. Wait, isn't that the train girl? Yeah. Oh, that's who that was. I was like, who? Um, if it wouldn't be so rude to ask, um, is there any other, uh, Digimon like, uh, Arbormon that you may have invited to today's, uh, festivities? Oh, yes. Um, Genvivermon was invited. Unfortunately, Genvivermon to stay back as Woodmon, not Woodmon, excuse me, Cherrymon. Asked for need some assistance. Uh, I remember the old log. I remember him. Yes, apparently Cherrymon is feeling under the weather. Oh. I'm gonna be it's more to do with that goddamn. If it's to do with that little old guy who causes problems before, I'll, I'll go back there and beat. No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you know who just again. got him. True. Well, I invited the Vademon duo, but they were unable to attend, it appears. Mm. If they did, I... Uh, never mind. Um, I see that you invited the one aquatic lady. What happened to her friend Cedramon? Did he not oh, get invited? Yeah. Ranamon. I see Ranamon is the leader of the Digimon oh, that originally resided in the Net Ocean. I work to primarily invite the, well, leaders of these organizations. Is inviting every single one would be difficult. True, you gotta get points. Cedramon is pretty big. Well, and from my understanding, Cedramon is a Digimon that Randomon is currently training. I kind of took a liking to him. Even though he's a little bit weird and I maybe hurt him a little bit, but he's pretty cool. Well, that is the goal of these, is communication between Digimon to assist in, well, liking each other, as you put so directly. If it would be all right, um, would, would it be okay if I gave you a gift? Oh. A gift would be appreciated. I, I, uh, I'll go up to Gladimon and got a little bag on him, so I'll pull out what looks like 
it's a, it's a pink it's a pink bow like a like little golden in line there i'll go up and i'll i'll uh, hand it over to wedding long it's just uh something i made and i thought it would look lovely since it matches the color of your outfit and then I picked up the bow and... Why, thank you. That was quite thoughtful of you. Of course. You are a... A, a very connected Digimon that... Uh, my group would like... Um, to be on friendly terms with. And... Continue to have these nice... Be invited to these nice parties. Stories, dearie. My apologies. Soirees. Yes. So anyway, uh, why did you invite us to this soiree? You will have made quite a name for yourself. Oh, I see. Uh, you, got, you got good taste you in people. assisted various Digimon in many ways. And I was quite impressed. In my head, I'm like, I'm see out you. of my element. Well, I did see I Wizardmon, like so... I did quite, quite a, even though we had to get all dressed up, this is quite an eventful day. I do have a question, though. Um, who are these Digimon I haven't met? Like, for example, the one with the giant scythe and the staffs. Oh, yes. Yeah, you see um, Wedimon dressed to the fan over to Phantomon. That is Phantomon. A Digimon that aligned with Plutomon, the Digimon of, well, the dark area. Oh, I see. Now, I feel like part of this is the communication aspect, but this dark area is not a negative association. Plutomon's domain is the cycle of death and rebirth among Digimon. Okay. Ain't that then, bad. Once it once a Digimon perishes, it forms into the figure of an egg. That egg is then sent and, well, reincarnated. Then it goes to the very known as Primary Village, where the Digimon... Um, oh, what is her name again? Junomon. Pardon my momentary lapse of memory there. Where the Digimon known as Junomon will raise up these Digimon, known as the Mother of All Digimon. Hmm. Okay. Is there a way to meet this Digimon? Junomon? Yes. Oh, I do apologize, but the Olympus 12 have not been found in the human world whatsoever. Oh, they wanted the Olympus 12s? Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Junomon is one of the Olympus 12. That makes a lot of sense. The rulers of the digital world. I'd like to uh, look at the group and discuss with the group. Um, what's what's our what's our you... plan here? What, what else do we need to oh. learn? Did you want me to introduce the rest of them to you? Yes, yes, that would be nice. Yeah, the two angelic Digimon, Pidmon and Darkmon. Those are two representatives from the arena. They are. An organization that has a cooperation between two different groups of Digimon. The, arena, those who follow Marsmon. Yes, exactly. There's those who follow Marsmon, the Digimon of War, and those that follow Minervamon, the Digimon of Strategic War. I would like now, to I say. I know those yeah, may no. sound like very overlapping domains, mm -hmm. but they do fill different roles. Because they're overlap, though, of combat, the followers of both have... Hmm. The followers of both are able to reach their understanding through hosting these tournaments. Groups are invited together and form teams where they face off against each other. 
Is there any invitation you might be able to provide me with that? I would love to participate in an arena battle. Oh, to my knowledge, they are still reforming the arena in the human world here and hope to have a, a bout in the future. Oh, that sounds nice. Um, would you know where to go for this area, or would it be better if we talk to them directly? It may be better to talk to them directly. I am not as familiar. They are not the organizers, though. Those organizers are busy, well, organizing, but rather representatives here on their behalf. No. Uh, All right. I guess me and Drop will go over and talk to them, too, then, since we're both interested in battling. Huh? They're here? I I mean, the two above us. Oh, the them got that we need those? to talk to for the arena. Man, my brain yeah. with names is terrible. Dra yes, Pid Drakmon and yeah, yeah. Angelic. Drakmon and yeah. Pidmon. Sure, I'm not gonna Bradley talk to him. Yeah. All right, me and Joff will go over and talk to them. I just wave. Bye, fancy lady. I see uh, Weddingmon uh, trying to Miles let a soft scat, um, soft giggle <laughs> as you say that and say goodbye, fancy human. Um. Wedding, Mon. Uh, a quick question before I get out of your hair. Yeah. Um, I see that there are a couple of other uh, humans like us at this event. Um, what do you know of their feats? What are, uh, what feats have they done to uh, oh, attract yes. your gaze? Well, there is, um, Cat the. The human who appears to be around your age, if I understand humans correctly. And she was part of a duo known as the Kitty Crusaders. They've been assisting with Digimon that have not adjusted the human world quite as well. By, well, neutralizing them, so to speak. Oh. <laughs> then there is the Quentin. One who has helped bridge the gap between the Digimon of the Ocean and helping them adjust to the human world. Hmm. You seem to know a lot about everything that goes around in the city. Um, I won't ask you, though, how you possibly have known as much as you do. I'm certain you are just have connections. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I will talk to you later. This is a lovely soiree. I'm um, gonna help myself well, to some dessert. Well, Good thank you. Yeah, of course. This is a nice change of pace from everything that's going on recently, so. Yeah. Can't say Well, it. I will say that it is my duty to be informed. If ever you know any anyone that uh, needs help with something around the city, please do not be uh, afraid to contact us. Um, here's my uh, here's my number. I don't know if that will help you can contact me or not, but just in case, I'll give it to you. Why? Well, thank you. Uh, All right. Uh, drop out. Do you know how to get two flying things down? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Hey, you up there, get down. To walk over to the dessert bar. They're gonna kill me. <laughs> you see, kind of this momentary pause. They look amongst each other, and then descend. That's what I thought. I say quietly so I don't get knocked out. You see the pit bomb fly down. And say, how can I help you? This is um, a free fly zone. I was wondering if you uh, wait. What were we doing again? Oh, yeah, we were asking about the uh, <laughs> fighting thing. Oh, you do seem to have the spirit of a fighter. What does that mean? What is... That's a compliment. That's a compliment, right? Jordan flexes his knuckles in the back. Hell yeah, we're ready for a fight. <laughs> and the dark mom, this, the angelic one holding a staff and sword, kind of speaks up and goes, Are you interested in the arena? Absolutely. 
Oh, we are still working on reforming it. Um, currently, we're working on creating a digital subspace to house it in. I see. Could you perhaps tell me what the rules are within oh, this? Yes. It is a team arena fight of teams of equal sizes. I see. But I did not know humans were interested in fighting Digimon. I think I could take one. I think we both collectively could take them. What's oh. that? What's that really what's strong that? one that's a part of the seven thingy bobbers? I think we could take them. All seven of them at once. Um, I just look over and I'm just so... like, listen, remember my ribs? Remember my ribs? <laughs> so I will ask the clarification. Are you talking about the seven demon lords? Uh -oh. Sure, that works. No, no. Do they participate? No. Oh. They didn't hang out in the dark area. Oh, do you see them often? No. Oh. That seemed kind of uh, lame. Uh, um, uh. I... Do you have Digimon partners, per chance? Oh, you mean Hookmon? Mm, uh, uh, I, I do a whistle over to Palmumon just to let Palmumon know. Like, call them over. Now, if it was me and Hookmon, I don't think any of the Demon Lords would stand a chance. I'm just going to say, that's my buddy right there. And uh, me and Parasaurumon are perfectly a good combo. I think we, we should be fine in this tournament. Well, we can... I can have... Well, we might be able to have your Digimon partners do the fighting while you all are on the side. What? That's such a... Damn, bro. Otherwise, it'd be a bit of an unbalanced team if there was... 10 of you versus 5. True. I mean, what happens if it's just me and Drop that was to enter and to, 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 then we'd know, only have four. Yeah, that would be an uneven number again. So we would be pooped. We'd have to only sure. let the Digimon fight. Unless we, we can, ask one of If you were interested in entering it, we can work out these details when the thing is open as well and go over the rules. But okay, okay. Yeah. well, at least I know the numbers. That's good to know. Yes, it is a. Well, it is not a fight to the death, or to the dig digitization, I should say. Mm. That's good, but what about... Oh, wait. If we can't fight to the death, to our digitization, how does one... Well, what, does one, like, submit defeat, or do just till one can't move anymore? What it is is that we have... Well... The Angel Digimon are the ones that host the tournament. And we have our divine prowess protecting the area. Oh, if a Digimon okay. were to drop unconscious, instead we are able to um, and be de-digitized. De instead we are able to shunt them off to safety. Oh, okay. okay. That's pretty cool. So angels have crazy, crazy heal healing powers. Oh, yes, in a way. It's, we are, the goal is to well, assist those Digimon, so they can go all out without having to worry about the ethical dilemma of destroying other Digimon. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Well, that's all I really had to ask. As long as you you can uh, remember our names and uh, let us let us, let us have a spot if uh, by chance, whenever you do open, that would be lovely. We certainly will. Well, I'll just go walk off and go hang out with Hookmon. That's about all I had to ask. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'll give them... Uh, I'll give them my contact just so we can... They can let us know when everything's, like, up and running for that. Sounds good. And then I'll uh, go check up Paul and make sure he hasn't eaten himself into a, a food coma. Palmamon is currently taking a nap on top of the pile of fruit. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> just that uh, sits in the corner with Palmamon while he's asleep in my arms, just like while he sleeps. Yeah. 
And as the party goes on, do any of you have anything else you'd like to do? Uh... Wait, I... Hmm. I mean, we are in close to the mysterious duo that we was meant to question before. We could try... We did try talking to them already, didn't we? Yeah, someone failed miserably. Yeah, drop tr dr yeah, drop tried talking to them and got shut down for being, being creepy. Someone in their twenty, yes, being someone in their twenties, just trying to give their uh, contact information to a kid. There's there's nice. two people that are equally young. We have Rion and Janie. <laughs> Last time nice. yeah. everyone said anything to them, we got in trouble. <laughs> it's worth a try. Okay. Remember how that involved everybody except for the positive mo uh, um, charisma modifiers? I had a positive charisma modifier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you've gotten lucky. Genie, I just got lucky. The thing is, to be fair, it did start off with drop trying first, so maybe if it's Rihanna, Chico <laughs> this time, it might uh, not Chico, yeah, Janie like this time. Maybe some uh, start off with enough time to uh, not I... have. Hmm. Well, Janie, you're up. Drop into <laughs> wait, Yeah. Wait, wait. It's always Hold on, my fault. I, I need you guys to come over here real quick so I can tell All you right. guys something. I'm coming over. Drop, why you and my brother were going over to talk to those Digimon that were floating up in the sky. Yeah, yeah. And I asked Weddingamon about the the other guys in the area. They're humans in the party. And um, Weddingamon confirmed that they're part of the uh, Kitty Cat Crusade. I knew it. But we shouldn't say that we know that. Um, all right, all right. Janie, you're the only one that hasn't talked to them yet or at, le at least a little digimon over there it'd probably be best if you led the conversation from here yeah probably i am going to start off by going to the snack table mm -hmm. and getting some food uh drop in Brother, we should... I'll probably stay over here for a little bit. And let Jane take control of this. I'm already over right there now. with Palmon. Palmon's asleep in a food coma right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here. Uh, Drop, just... Let's go over here and I'm gonna just shove some cake in Drop's mouth and just... I'm just gonna... That should be in... It should work for now, I guess. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna eat some cheese. Is this cheesecake? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, it's delicious. So I'm okay. gonna end up grabbing a, you know, a couple of bits of food, some for me, some for Searchmon, and I am going to also grab a couple of extra, um. their bits and pieces to share and then so that's what we'll carries it like this tray <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna go down and uh, strike up a bit of conversation yeah and i'm walking down this little plate of desserts you and is it Searchmon right now or dokugamon uh Searchmon at the moment Searchmon kind of uses its back plate to carry the desserts for you yeah, uh, so I end up walking up and uh, just saying, Hey, have you tried some of the food here? It's fantastic. I grab one of the uh, like little plates of dessert, put it down in front of Searchmon, uh, grab one for myself and also offer them out to the, um, what is it, Salomon and the girl. Hey, uh, th thank you. And she kind of takes the plate of dessert and, like, kind of waits for you to eat the first bite before she starts eating. Yeah. So um, I, yeah, I was going to try I, some of the fruit, but there was a bird sleeping on it. Yeah. Um, 
don't mind that it it really likes fruits. Uh, oh, it, it just can't hold it. It cannot hold back when it comes to fruit. Like, oh, you know the bird. Yeah, we've met. Um, okay. Yeah, no, it has actually helped me out a couple of times before. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, um, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Got the invitation to this party and thought, you know what? Did it may as well come along. Wasn't expecting to see it. You met as many humans as I uh, am, you know? Yeah, good for them. Yeah, no, it's nice to see that the uh, Digimon have got people looking out for them. And I, you know, as I say that, I just go and I just, like, yeah, give Searchmon a little bit of a rub on the head. Oh, yeah, Searchmon kind of leans into a little bit. Yeah, it's nice to have these Digimon with us. Isn't that right, Salomon? Salomon kind of no looks up and gives a big nod. Um, uh, did I put uh, the plate for Salomon as well? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, Salomon kind of leans down and begins eating a little bit of cheesecake. I was like, you, I was like, yeah, no, you, they are such good friends, you know, and, uh, also fantastic when it comes to uh, keeping us and others safe. Yeah. Yeah, I had, um, I've actually been uh, uh, teaching this one, and I give, um, search my little, a bit more of a head rub. Been uh, doing what I can to teach in martial arts, and, because uh, I do it, you know, with the kids I teach, and I was like, you know what, let's Let's make sure that they're all safe. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Salomon, we usually learn some martial arts. Well, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, I, I can if you want. Like, yeah, if you want. I, I was just joking. I was just joking. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty cool without martial arts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little awkward oh, for a moment. Well, if you ever change your mind, um, uh, and I give the, um, details for, um, like, my class schedule, as well as, um, my email, and, like, you know, put on a piece of paper and, uh, give it to her and say, I'm Janie, by the way, and this is Searchmon. Here to meet you. I'm Kat, and this is Salomon. It's really nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, uh, feel and... free to come on by, and uh, I, you know, when it comes to teaching, uh, uh, you know, Digimon and uh, stuff, I'm not going to end up uh, doing anything except just trying to help them get stronger, because it seems to be a thing that helps them especially more than it helps uh, the kids they tend to teach interesting and can i have you as you're convincing to do a um to join the class here can i have you make me a charisma check uh yep uh did you want whereabouts is that that's a charisma check that is 2d6 plus one um, let's roll. That is a yeah, six. That was a six. You see, you're kind of not along, but, um, as you're kind of mentioning plugging your class, you get the little sense that maybe she's like, did you just talk to me to try and sell your class? But it did still take your contact info. Yeah. But yeah, also just if you get any uh, in any kind of trouble, also let us know. But uh, let me know because you know when in trouble, if you can't rely on each other, who can you rely on? You know. 
That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, if um uh, the same, if I get in trouble and yeah, I you're around, hopefully you're able to help out. Like, we've got to stick together, you know? A couple of girls getting through the world. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? The... Yeah. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Thanks for the desserts. Yeah, no worries. I'll be hanging around if you want to chat about anything. And I'll catch you later. I will and catch you later. I'm, uh, how much arm um, uh, has such one uh, had over their take so far? Oh, so trying to finish the entire thing. Yeah, so I pick up the plate and I'll, uh, you know, walk off and I was like, okay, see ya. See ya. Yeah, he gives a little um, wave and goes back to try to sell him on. I'm just shoving mini cupcakes on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go and over to Pomemon and uh, check up, and also while doing so, letting uh, Dren know that I at least got um, contact information to uh, them. Dren signals, yay. <laughs> at least somebody was capable. <laughs> He's trying yeah, not and... to, like, venture to uh, wake up Pomemon. <laughs> I don't Girl. think you got a phone number. I think you got like a like an Instagram handle. Jeez, that hurts. Yeah. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> a little too close to home, guys. <laughs> yeah, but, you. You know, at the end of the day, the main thing is initiating contact. Mm -hmm. But the Instagram, <laughs> that's like the worst. I. For right now. It... Seems like the best choice for what's going on here. There's a lot of Digimon here, and a lot we know and a, a couple we didn't know. I think we got a lot of information. We have got a lot of information. Yep, I think we, me and Dropper are happy because we found out Combat. some information about, like, yeah, we're going to be the ultimate duo again. I... My idea of some things we can do going forward is, um, would be, probably be, um, maybe asking if Winningmon needs anything done, or seeing if maybe there are more legendary hey, warriors oh, that's around. That's a good idea, if we could ask, uh, sure. ask for work would we, be nice. We, we need some work doing, yeah. Because the Coliseum won't be done for a bit, and that might be a good place to go later on. And if I, True. if we do more good things, we get more influence, and the more influence, the higher chance we get of performing well in the arena, or being also, able to perform in the arena. Also, making more connections with the Kitty Cat Crusade won't be done overnight. True, I really right. want to find the mystery of Kitty Cat Crusade. The Kitty the Crusaders. More, the yeah. more we do for Wedding Mon, the more we have likely a chance of information of more Digimon around the area. It seems like they're all in town, though. All of them. I realize, Drop, if we enter, they might put us in the Rookie Cup. <laughs> no, we're too it good for the like... Rookie Cup. It also seems like there are people that are going after the Legendary Warrior ones. Um, it might be a good idea before we go to ask about the other Legendary Warriors from, like, Arbormon or... Good idea. Because... They've been, for some reason, stealing those other forms. That could be a way for us to open a portal to Digi, a world to help Digimon get back home. They seem a lot more powerful than the average Digimon. One of us almost got knocked out. Someone got crushed not too long ago. Exactly. Just not trying to point fingers or anything, but... <laughs> I'm not trying to remind you of a hard time or anything. <laughs> but, yeah, I think 
want a, a group of us should go up to Arbormon and ask about the other legendary warriors, and none of us should be going up to Weddingmon and seeing if anything needs to be done around the town. Well, there, I want to go talk um, to Weddingmon. Yeah, I'll head that way. I'll go. I'll go and drop, just in case. Yeah. Just a simple talk with fancy you. lady. In the mean Janie will go over and talk to Arbormon. Sounds good. That sounds like a good last talk to me. Mm -hmm. uh, which one do you guys want to start with? Well, we start with y'all first. I oh. can run up on him. Going up to Arbormon, who is currently kind of working on eating a bit of food and kind of chatting, but seems a little not the most like comfortable right now. Hey, Arbormon is. Yeah, you're looking a little tense. Is everything okay? Oh, hello. Great greetings. Great to see you again. Well, you know, Cherrymon's not really feeling very well, and while Gunvivermon's looking after it, after it, still worries me. Hard to settle down, and relax. But you know, they insisted I go because it's important to have a representative from the from our group at the party here. You know what? Here, let me grab something that might help. I have, uh... Are you saying they're sick? Yes. Oh my god, you're a genius. Well, I have... I have a couple of things of medicine if you want to look and see if any of them might help. Oh. Here. That's a very kind offer. Oh. I... Do not wish to take away the medicine you have, though, as we do have Gumbivermon working on this, who is a practitioner of medicine. But if you would like, you're welcome to come back later, and or maybe you could go back to the forest with me after the party here and see if any of those would help. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna give it to him, but I'm gonna show him the, the medicine made from Cherrymon. Cherries? Mm -hmm. um, maybe the medicine made from Cherrymon can help Cherrymon. <laughs> yeah. Could do it, but um, we came over here to ask you a question. There oh. seems to be you and uh, that other legendary warrior over there. Could you tell on, us? Yeah, yeah, random on. Um, would you be able to tell us about the other legendary warriors? Yes, we're a group of ten in total, kind of spread across the various um, members of the digital, well, digital world. It's, there are 10 of us in total, but I have not seen all of them here. I'm worried that some of them maybe did not make it somehow. Do we all know? house data from ancient Digimon back from the, when the Olympus 12, well, it said the Olympus 12 were the first Digimon to reach the mega level, the highest level that Digimon can reach. And these are ones from that era. We all contain the, this humanoid and this bestial spirit. For example, right now, I am Arbormon. But if I invoke my beast spirit, I can become... You see kind of this soft glow. As you remember before, there was that massive Digimon known as Entmon. That was supposedly a corruption of the spirit. However, this time, the form shifts, and instead you see a more live-looking version. Oh. You seem a little smaller than you were before. Yeah, I'm not done sizing it up. Oh, yeah. taking oh up God. Part of it is, is, uh, and now I'm Petaldramon. By invoking my beast spirit. Well, remind me not to mess with him. Gonna, Gonna oh. shrink back to the Arbormon form. That form you just took. It looks yes. different than we when we were fighting it. Yes, I have heard of some of what had happened. I believe it is some sort of corruption of my beast form by having my humanoid form taken away from me and then poisoned essentially. Fascinating. Do you know anyone who would want to do that? Well, the individual that did that before was the Morphomon. Hmm. I guess that's probably the next person that asks questions, so I guess... 
but and um, bes- besides the two of you- wanna... yeah sorry go ahead besides two of you here do you know of any other legendary warriors in the nearby area well there are a number of us but i have not seen any of them there's you know mercury mon separate from mercury mon um, Ranamon, who you already met me, Grottlemon, Blitzmon, Fairymon, Shackmon, Wolfmon, Agoonimon. There's the twins, Loemon and Duskmon. Mm. But... You... Do you think any of them would, uh, I don't know, be interested in a tournament to show off their prowess I feel like we don't I can't speak for myself but most of us are self-assured in our power I think those who are showing off the tournaments are either those who do it for the fun of the sport or are doing it because they wish to showcase their um, test their metal or show off Well, if you get any word of any more of your, um, guest friends, here, I'll hand out my contact information to you. Alright, thank you. I will figure out how to contact you. Yep. And, uh, I'll have to try and stop by and see if I can help out with Cherry Mom. Yes. Yes, feel free to come over whenever available. Of course. Janie, do you have anything? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay. Um, well, we'll uh, let you go for now. And it was nice seeing you, and I'm glad oh. you seem overall looking it's better. A... I do appreciate all of you for returning me to my humanoid self. Of course. More than happy to help. Hmm. Yeah, and then... Uh... We'll switch over to Gran and Drop talking to Wedding Mon. All oh. right. Okay. Well, we're just ask Drop. <laughs> we were going to ask about anything they need help with, or like any tasks that need to be done. Hmm. Help. Oh. Well, great to see all of you again. However, I do not. I cannot think of anything I currently need assistance. So I'm sure to reach out post. Immediately, if I can think of anything. I do appreciate your kindness here. Do you know anybody that might need assistance with anything? Hmm. Well, okay. I had heard multiple times of... It came up a few times that apparently Ranamon's beast spirit was stolen. Although I believe Ranamon has yet to identify where those, the one that stole it had is now. I see. Yeah, so we go talk to Ranamon and, uh, and well, get the location. Yeah, I I don't believe Ranamon knows quite yet, and that's why there is not yet been an expedition to attempt uh, to find it. Okay. Yeah, so that means no. Then, uh, let's see here. That is the most I can think of. Um, but if I hear anyone that needs help, I can... I can be the bridge of contact there, or more likely my short mon will be. Alright, mm. sounds good to me. That's all we had to really ask. That's all we need. Yeah. I guess we go around saying our goodbyes? If, uh, or is there more to the if, if, night? No, if or we go talk to Rion and see what Rion wants to go after this. Sounds good to me. Oh. Hey guys. Yeah, what's uh, up? Find out anything? Uh, no. It was I'm currently dead looking in. for random on thing of it and that. That's not really much going on. The only thing I know of is checking up on Cherrymon. That's sick. Yeah, and uh, I do, uh, I would go talk to Randomon, but I Get like a bad feeling when I'm around them because we I did get chucked in a 
bubble. And it's kind of mm -hmm. unfortunate. And I, 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 uh, I uh, me, me and Drop did that. No, yeah. <laughs> what about? Uh, did anyone talk that to expert? That was a skill issue, and you know it. <laughs> it was. I'm still petrified. <laughs> talk to our friends, um, expert Agumon. We haven't talked to Agumon yet. We can do that. Wait, where is Terriamon? Uh, Ex Agumon. Oh, where's Terriamon? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> they they come back with like a like a plate of food <laughs> stacked high. Let me just put a new Terriamon assistant in there. Oh, wrong layer. <laughs> See Terriamon. Like, where did Mon both go? Gone? Okay. The, uh, Wait. Uh, yeah, that's what, that, where did Mon that's go? We need to what happened? <laughs> I think I accidentally deleted it without noticing. I you see, you see, wedding monitor and mon walk out. What we probably, <laughs> what we it's probably need is a few. We probably need a few more terrier mons just to balance it out in case they get deleted again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, tur it's turned into. A <laughs> oh but god! Anyway, we're also. <laughs> We're also missing two <laughs> other Digimon, if y'all haven't noticed yet. Terriamon is worth to cool. Amumon is gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many Digimon missing. What happened? <laughs> yeah, they're all oh, gone. Yeah, I've seen them. Murder I just didn't mention anything. <laughs> this is a murder mystery party now. Just uh, people get picked off one by one. Amumon. Queensland. Oh, Lightmon is gone. What happened? <laughs> yeah, they all disappeared. <laughs> There, there was a whole. Th I'm the only one who can delete stuff. I don't of... think I did anything. All right. Well, well I'm gonna start with murder all the missing characters. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna blame generative AI for this one. It <laughs> yeah, seems appropriate. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna okay. go chill with Hookmon and go chill near the food until y'all are done talking to anybody else. You gotta talk to. I, I'm gonna no, take I'm a break and read my book. I'm just imagining all the Digimon that were disappeared had this weird side story going on in like a separate room. <laughs> They're all like, just like hanging out in another part. Well, Pokemon gathered okay. them all for a I think I'm gonna call a little 15 minute break here. Oh, good. So we'll reconvene at 2 o'clock. We'll pick up with. Did you all finish everyone you wanted to talk to at the at the soiree? I have. Uh, I'm, uh, it's up to the rest of y'all if y'all have anything to. I think we're, we're all done. I think so, yeah. The but next I time was to stop by the phantom on across the room. <laughs> the next time was to stop by the forest, correct? Mm-hmm. Why they're really why they're stopping by the forest, I think I'm just gonna uh go to the quick store and grab some like chicken nuggets or something. Can we stop and grab something to bite for uh our Digimon? Preferably Hookmon yeah. because he wants chicken some reason. I did promise him I, chicken I, I, next time um, we go out. Where is the nearest uh, pizza place? Like uh, the uh, the Nominos that I work at. Nominos. Oh yeah, there is a um. The Nominos. There's actually a rival pizza <laughs> chain nearby um called Pizza Hat. Oh. It's all like it's like witch and wizard themed. Oh. Shoot, you guys down for a quick stop for some pizza? So I going to go to that weird place where they have those weird robots like that cheetah with the sunglasses. That's weird. Oh, yeah. oh uh, what are you talking yeah, I, about? I, I want to say, last time me and Rion went there, it was not good. I end up breaking a robot. Anyway. <laughs> as long as it's not that weird happy clocker knockoff place. <laughs> oh, my God. As long as it's not the place with the yeah. evil there's... animatronics that try eating a child, it's fine. Or with yeah, dogs. there's this there's Listen, this really annoying chain restaurant um, called like Radical Ricky's, and it has a like a big um, panda bear mascot. Oh, yeah. And then people made a whole horror game franchise off of it. It's a whole thing. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We we Well, I'm ready whenever y'all are. Okay. Yep. Ready, spaghetti. So, you all begin heading out towards the forest. Allow me to change us over to that map. Heading into the New Chester Central Park a little bit later at night at this point. But, come on now. 
Roll 20, work with me here. Roll 20, come on, please. There we go. Denied. <laughs> Heading into the forest. Oh, let me put everyone's Digimon on there. You see, uh, Arbormon heads back with you, and... Oh, this is loud. Roll 20, quiet down a little bit, please. <laughs> you see a variety of Digimon scattered around here. It appears to be the... You know, just... You see the Arbormon, um... Had come back with you. The Woodmon, the Mushmon, the Kunemon, and Dokunemon are all hanging out. Seemingly worried over Cherrymon. Oh, and you also see the imprisoned, um, the oh, imprisoned yeah, Morphomon. Hmm. We notice anything weird of any of the other Digimon. So now we some sort of Cherrymon. The other Digimon seem to be fine. They're just kind of worried and fretting over Cherrymon. It's kind of like the almost like the father of the forest, kind of taking care of a lot of the Digimon here, making sure they're okay. And uh, I'm giving everyone's kind of hovering around, checking up, administering some er, you see a a little pile of empty medicine bottles on the ground next to Cherrymon. So like they're all like arguing very loudly, or is it just like uh... they're just kind of waiting and watching as Gimbirmon kind of frets around? Okay. Uh, what's up, pops? Just fucking like one does what's up with like Cherrymon. Uh, Cherrymon kind of looks over and goes, "Oh, you all are back. Welcome, welcome." I'm afraid I'm not quite feeling the best right now. Otherwise, I'd give you a more enthusiastic hello. Hmm. What seems to, like, uh, be the, the, up? Uh, I'm, again, everyone kind of hovers over. I'm really not quite sure what's wrong. It's been, I don't see any signs of an, of a virus infecting. There's no, like, nothing wrong with the code itself. Mm. It's been not frustrating, but difficult. Do you, mm. like, is it, do you feel any pain anywhere, or is it kind of like a... It's like the pain's inside my bark. Hmm. Can Dren, like, with... Cherrymon's permission, like, put his hand on Cherrymon to see if there's anything, like, he can feel on the bark, maybe, or something. Yeah, make me a roll using your intelligence, please. Alright. In a second. Okay. Oh shit, that's the... I forgot to swing, switch that to a drain Give thing, but... A heart it, attack. It, it, it's just, all right, there we go. Uh, I got 11. 11? Yep. Well... Let's see here. You kind of... Fe you're kind of feeling Cherrymon's bar, kind of listening. And you swear that as you're kind of focusing... You feel something, almost like something's moving underneath the bark. Hmm. hmm. This isn't a, uh, your typical virus. There seems to be something living inside, uh, Cherrymon over here. You see, giving your mind kind of look over, a, like a parasite? Some kind of, I guess, if you have a version of a parasitic... Digimon, I guess, maybe? Or something. Some kind of living... My knowledge is Digimon don't really get parasites. It's something I heard about mm. in the human world, but... Can, uh... Can Dren continue, like... Expect, uh... Like, continuing looking around, uh... Terrymon more? 
see if there's if it's moving anywhere else or if it's only in like one specific area. I'm gonna kind of kind of continue off your eleven here, and I think yep. you get the sense that it's actually there seems to be more than one thing underneath Cherry Mon's bark. Hmm. I know trees in our world get some kind of insect things that can get cause damage to the tree itself. Maybe you pick some of those up. Oh. And Viva my house there, Ch Cherry Moth's okay. I'd like to make an incision here to see if I can find anything underneath your bark. And it looks to you, Dren. Does that sound like something that would help? Uh, I believe so. If it if it does, um, if you can act, find part of it, maybe I can do. Oh shit! One second. I I got, I'll be right back. One sec. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, and I'm looking for the confirmation and receiving it a little bit. You uh, find, uh, and Vimon pulls out a, a thin scalpel. Leans down and makes an incision in Cherry Mon's bark. And you see something kind of squirming underneath. Oh, Lord. Multiple things. Oh, as they God. begin popping out of Cherry Mon. What pops? Let me, one sec Let me use one second here. Oh, that just sounds gross. <laughs> Make sure I got all of them here. As a variety of small critters that I believe some of you may have seen before <gasps> begin streaming out of Cherry Mon. Oh no 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 Immediately these Digimon take defensive positions. The weaker of them, like the Mushmon, run back while the Woodmon go to guard their Cherry Mon. Arbormon raises itself and the Kunimon do Kunimon. The two that you met before kind of focus in and they begin to glow. Oh, as no, they take no, on no, new no. forms. Oh, God. And I would like all of you to roll me initiative. Um, oh, no. What did we get Let ourselves into? I honestly did not think this was going to happen. I didn't think so either. I thought it was going to be a simple checkup. But I didn't know there was a event happening. Uh... The question is, what would have happened if you weren't there for it? Oh, well, I guess like we can thank Rion for, you know, uh, checking in all that I stuff. I do not like bugs. I'm going to back up a little bit. I got what I got to roll. It's agility, right? That sounds good. Um, yes, you can either roll your agility Why? or your Digimon's oh. agility. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Sorry. My bad. So to sum up, what happened is these little things came out of him when he uh, we cut him open and something evolved oh, and we're in a fight. So God. roll. we got to roll agility. All right. Okay, everyone's Digimon on the map here. Oh, that did not. Okay, yep. I, my bad. Ah, that's a yep. well, rolling that's two d six equals one. Of course, you weren't gonna end up with any success because oh. the minimum is two. <laughs> uh, I deserve As that. As your Digimon <laughs> hop to action, seemingly ready against the th whatever is occurring here, they are swarming the area, and for the sake of making combat not awful for me to run. Um, yep. There's. I'm going to say that the other Digimon that are here, the Woodmon and the Arbormon, along with mm -hmm. Moth, the new Butterflymon and Mothmon, who just popped out of the Kunamon and Dokumon, will take on some of these enemies, while you all will be responsible for others. So, right, so wait, so those things up there are an enemy? These two are, are the allies of Woodmon who evolved to help protect it. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so basically, a, a good chunk of them is uh, like Cherrymon and Woodmon and the, the um, what is it? Uh, the others fighting off a majority of the stuff, whereas we're lightening the load and distracting and kicking the shit out of these little things. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Exactly that. So, how many are we fighting? So you'll be fighting 
seven of them. Okay. But they're all like baby form, aren't they? That shouldn't be hard. Uh, in training, I believe. On fort, that's a little higher, but. Huh? Mm hmm. Let's see. And all our rolls are pretty bad except Janie's. Yep. Good job, Janie. Nerd. I do deserve it after putting D equals one. Equals success, though. Zero yeah, successes. I, I, I do apologize, but I got told on the app for my food it would take like 50 minutes they delivered it in like 20 and i'm like what the hell oh okay. good nice all right let me just enter all of these initiatives oh lord <laughs> they all have one HP. okay so they're all scorpion these should we all just focus one at a time is there any like the standing order bigger? okay so first up in the initiative order is this one I wish as you see it <laughs> turn around this one's super fast and it's gonna it's jump blue. on it's search nice. Mon's back oh god is there any way we could tell them a party is here <laughs> oh and it is going to begin all right here for the sake of this i'm going to take all the non all the ones you are not actively fighting and put them on a different layer so you don't have to worry about like the visual mess that sound good thank you that would be helpful. My eyes are bleeding trying to figure out where Man, it's where. This is a there we go. Highly spectacular battle. Oh, I missed a few. High, high quality budget to make this battle happen in real life. Okay, did I miss two. anything? One, two, three, five, four. six, that perfect. Yep. Oh, and well, then I forgot the woodmon. Okay. As this one hops on the back of, J of Searchmon, and it's going to use its attack to drain life. Oh. Already. Okay. That is going to be a... Oh, I have to double check here. I know I have the stats somewhere. All right. So that, because Searchmon is two stages above it, it will take a minus two to this roll. So it will get an... That will be a failure, as it tries to penetrate through Searchmon's metal-like back, but does not find Perch. It is now Searchmon's turn. All up to you, Janie. Um, so, yeah, uh, Janie and Searchmon are going to do a bit of a tag team thing here by hitting a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Sounds oh, good. Um, so, uh, what I'm uh, thinking is... Uh, how it's got that tail thing. Mm -hmm. Janie's gonna grab that and uh, ha um, uh, have Searchmon kind of uh, buck to create um, additional swinging motion and smash it down on the top of another one. Sounds good. So I will have you make a... Um, a roll using your Janie's power, but I can, I'll add your bond with search bond to this. Yeah. Oh. I wish you luck. 2d6, and that, and uh, so it's an in training, so mm -hmm. what modifier do I base? I so, do it. <laughs> great question. I will have this be a uh, plus one since you are one stage above. Yeah. Six. Oh. What is it with my roll? Oh, and then. So, unfortunately, numbers are not on your side right now. As you go to bucket off, it kind of um, dances and dodges around. And I think that this will leave you open so that the next one will get a plus one against attack rolls against you and. Oh, I, I hate to be this thing. guy, but look how many are attacking next. Yep. Mm. <laughs> no way we lose to these guys. To a swarm of babies? After we fought all the... <laughs> uh, well, wait. it is now uh, this thing's turn. 
Which one is Does that you one? Anything else you want to do for your turn, Janie? This one is bucked off your back. So the one attacking is? Oh, no, the one early. Either way. This one will scurry um, up. Hmm? Yeah, that's it for me. And it will latch on to Parasormon. Oh. And go in for the attack. They are aggressive little things, aren't they? So that is a failure. I rolled very poorly. Huzzah. So it's now the next one's turn. This fight this one's going to jump on top of Gladimon. Ooh. Let's see if I can get a... Okay, Ooh. that one is a is a success. Or Even success. with the minuses? Yep. Ooh, that's unfortunate. As this thing is going to latch on to Gladimon and begin draining your da its data. As it does, it is kind of absorbing the energy from Gladimon. And you see it begin to glow as it does that. Oh, no. Wait, oh, it evolved God. from s us? So don't let it hit you. Okay. As it plops on the ground in a new uh -oh. form. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh. Right, don't let it me. touch you. Okay, whatever, yeah, don't let, whatever you do, do and not let it hit you. As it does that, Gladimon's feeling a little faint. Uh-oh. Uh oh And will okay. revert back into Pawn Chessmon. Oh. oh no. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, oh. Keep the Digimon away from them. Do not on your on your turn. You can use your action to evolve back into whatever another form. By the way. However, there's still two more turns left. Uh oh. This one's gonna see the opportunity and scatter over and hop on top of Pawn Chessmon. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> that is a. Um, oh, I will say this one, right, that is a, let's see, that is a mixed success. Is it? Yes. So I need you to make me a roll using your toughness, please. Okay. Uh... Poor Pawn Chessmon, our idol. Our mascot. No. Oh, let me see if there's anything. Our marketable plushie. Okay. Okay, that is a mixed success as well. You'll be able to resist the attack, but you'll not be able to resist the next atta attacks until the um, next round. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, don't we have stun abilities? Well, my build will work. So it will kind of bounce off of you. And seeing this opening now, the next one will go running at you. Oh my god! You can't oh catch boy. a break! And that one does fail, however. Oh. As it will... I rolled a natural... Th I rolled very low. As it will jump towards you, but then kind of be deflected by the buckler as Pawn Chessmon is fending these things off. Suddenly, much different shape than it was just a moment ago. But now, it is Rion and Pawn Chessmon's turn. Okay, um... Would it be possible for it... To, uh, for Pawn Chessmon to evolve and then attack? Yes, so it'll be your action as a tamer to re-evolve your Digimon. Alright, so, I will... Um, oh, yeah. I will re-evolve to Gladimon. Okay. And I'll kind of... get Gladimon to try and do, like, a, a wide shockwave tool. Like, he's trying to hit as many as possible. Okay, make me a roll using your power, please, then. Okay. As uh, Gladimon, upon Jasmine, hops into the air, twirling around his spear and shield, and a flash of light turns back into Gladimon. All right, uh, let's see. Any of them? Uh, I'm assuming there will there be any modifiers at all for them. Um. Oh yes. Yeah, sorry, my apologies. So these are level two Digimon. So you have a plus two against these. So hey, that's I have good. A plus one the power, and then I have. So do the power modifier plus one the power and then plus one the rate of the shockwave plus plus six. Jeez. You're crazy. Yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> you mix only passed that because of that plus six. <laughs> so I will give all three of them a chance. I will say that it will hit multiple, but they will all have a chance to resist it. Okay. At least they're not on top of you anymore. <laughs> so one of them successfully resists all the damage. Another okay. one will um, fail and will take a damage. The one on the far right. And the one in the middle will also um, fail and take a damage. Okay. As two of them have now taken a chunk of damage. Actually, just for visual reference, I'm going to put a little red dot next to them if they take oh, damage. Just goodness. since there's a lot of things around right now. I was going to ask you if you could like That's change fun. color hued so I can tell the difference between certain ones. Oh, actually, I got a, a better idea. Give them all names like Todd and Bob. And I was just Todd. thinking if you could like, yeah, change the color hue or something. Um, doing... Can you see the bar above it? Oh, I can. Oh, that's neat. Can you see the numbers in the bar? No, I do not see numbers. Perfect. Oh. Perfect then. So then I'll do little health bars above them just for since there's a lot of things here. Let's go. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do because I already used my action yeah. and so did Gladio. It is now Parasaur Monster and then. I forgot you saw that parasite on your head. <laughs> Shin. Yeah, sorry. I was eating. I didn't want you guys hearing me eat. Oh, oh no worries. Right. Uh, uh, fair. Sorry. Um, I accidentally messed up the yeah. turn order a little bit. Yeah. Anyone's one sec here. Yep. There you are. All right. Well, Dren is a little annoyed at the one that hit, went straight for Pawn. Um, can Dren please yell to Parasormon to use his big horn attack to attack and see if he can hit multiple of them and then can Dren try and punch the pink one what about the thing on your head so with, as horn attack are you just trying to go for like a straight attack with just your strength uh yeah so I want like Parasormon to try and just use it and see if, if he how many he can hit and then Dren go and go well, I'll have on one. make an attack at plus two because it or make a roll using your strength at plus two and you can make a roll using your strength um, at plus one. All right. So calculations in my head right now. All right. <laughs> Plus, this is for Paris Armand. Plus two. Okay. That's 12 on Paris Armand. It's good. I will say and that then... Paris Armand will slam forward with his horn. It will damage the one um, in front of it. Let me make it so you yep. can see an HP bar as well for it. There we are. And that one will kind of go flying back and it will damage the one in front of it as well. Okay. And then uh, Dren's going to try and run forward and punch the pink one as a little revenge for... I would laugh if it like me. full counters you. <laughs> oh, actually, sorry, you do not get a plus one. This is the same level as you, so it's just a, a straight regular fight roll. Yep, that's fine. There we go. With all these things going around, now they all have HP bars. Yay! Oh, that boy's HP is big. Yeah. Oh, it's man, it's scaled to the size of the token. Uh, oh, oh, yep. Oh, I knew it was happening. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> As you run up to hit this thing, this thing kind of sees you running towards it and it flips back towards you. And it will, as you kind of do this, it claws at you and it pushes you to the ground. So rolls will have a bonus okay. and attack rolls against it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they'll have a plus one bonus against you now. But yeah, that's Here like comes Penny's hero draw. Yes, it's you now. Pulse um, of water is strong and all. <laughs> All right, I would like to uh, 
for one, I would like to ask Hookmon to uh, help out Drin by like, like slicing at it with his uh, hook and like kind of locking into combat with, you know, like trying to like distract it and hit, hit it at the same time. That makes sense. Wait, like, so you you that one more time? Exactly. Like lock into a fight, but also do damage with uh, the pink one. So to save okay, shit so with Hookmon. Sounds you good. use it be as a distraction? Why? No, <laughs> I'm why? saving so, you. Yeah. Go for a roll then, please. To fight it. 2D. This is separate from me, so I won't add the bond. 2D. Yeah. And if this is Hookmon doing it, then you will get a plus one because it's a stage above you. Or below plus you. Plus three. Excuse since me. I'm using my hook, I'm going to do a plus three. Oh my god. So no. unfortunately, that's Everyone's also a failure. So bad. As Hookmon Holy. runs up, blaring its hook. And then reaches out to grab this thing, and it kind of squirms out of the way. And I think in doing so, it will kind of hit Hookmon with his claws. It pushes back, and Hookmon will take a damage. At least it's not on Shin anymore. Well, you're saved by Hookmon. Thank him later. All right, then my turn. I would like to um, let's Keep see. The little ones. That's what I'm planning on doing. Where am I? Would I be? I would be where Hookmon was. So which one's the closest yeah. one to me? I'd like to shoot. Um, the two injured ones in uh, front of me with a barrage of bullets. Right. I'm not sure if your gun really allows for a big firing of bullets super quickly. I'll just pick we'll the... We'll see how your roll does. Oh, yeah. Slash roll. Oh, yeah, I got to roll. My and it's going to be at a plus one because you're a stage above them. Oh, shoot. Then that's higher than I thought that's it would be. Oh, no. it's. Ex I swear. <laughs> if this also... Okay. It's better Drop than not. On Digivolve to... <laughs> Alright, a seven is a mixed success. I guess so I'll I'll say as you fire one. off this barrage of bullets, you will... I will allow um, them to make a roll against it. Sounds good. Boys, our rolls nope, today I... are bad. So they both got a complete success. Oh my <laughs> They both rolled tens before oh bonuses. Oh my god. As they both kind of like hunker down and resist your series of bullets as they glare towards you. That's so know. unfortunate. Well, I wish I, I I wish the three actually <laughs> I wish y'all survived the three. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one will Jump on top of Dren. What? Oh. Um, Dren, that is a complete success. <laughs> and uh, it will <laughs> begin draining your life. Uh, which will heal it up by one and you'll take a damage. At least uh, it didn't yeah, evolve yeah. on you. <laughs> this next Don't one it, bro. <laughs> will jump on Searchmon. Please, not And it will roll a mixed success, so I need search one to roll me a roll using toughness. Please, please. I please, wish please, you please. luck. You're literally made of metal. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, search one had it. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Roll using toughness, please. Please, not another one. Please, not another one. Please, um, <laughs> beg for a good roll. Is that um with the plus two modifier from the uh, being a high level? Um. Yes. I wish well, you I luck. You it. have all the things you need. Hi, roll. Except mm -hmm. a, I have a neutral toughness for search mon. Uh oh. So you're relying on the. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so with a seven, I will say that you are able to resist this attack, but you're not oh. able to resist future the next attack against you. Or the next mixed success against you. Well, as it kind of bounces off once again, but another one readies itself to jump on on Searchmon. Huh. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> this one got a mixed success because your last resistance roll is a mixed success. This one will deal a damage to you and will heal back up to full. <laughs> We're actually gonna lose some of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. In the background, you see Arbormon fighting tougher and tougher, and it begins. And it will turn to pedal Dramon to fend these guys off in the background. But it is now oh, cool. Search Mon's turn. This onslaught, though, is crazy. 
Back to Janie. Hey, Digimon. Hey, Digimon. Okay. What's your plan of attack, Janie? Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to assist Searchmon with a jamming hurts to try and confuse all of them. Oh, oh I wish you luck. How are you wanting to assist Searchmon with this? I am going to end up pointing at Arbamon. Uh, no, uh, um, uh, what is it? Pedaldramon, which is just a vault, uh, which is, you know, just uh, form changed, and point, yelling, uh, uh, um, hey, look, a distraction. I Actually, it might work. I mean. <laughs> Go for that roll then, please. Okay, so, um, roll... 2d6, um, plus, because I know there's, for two of, uh, for, um, what would I do for the level different modifier? Oh, yes, so this is going to be, they are, you are at level four, they are at level two, so you get a plus two to this roll. Even the distraction rolls? Yeah. Ooh. I didn't know that. Uh, this is well. This is gonna be one roll for the jamming hurts from Searchmon, mm -hmm. and you get to add your bond as a bonus to it. Yeah, bond bonus. Uh, all right. So two d six plus five. Oh, <laughs> that works. The complete success as you in this direction, kind of they they look over as you point and yell, and this resonance echoes throughout the area as all of the little ones are confused. They seem to be a little disoriented, kind of in trouble, kind of steadying themselves and teetering around a little bit. They are not able to make checks using their intelligence right now as well. Not bad, I'll take it. That, 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 yeah. And I get the sense they may have more trouble prioritizing certain targets. Okay. I did notice they did target Pawn Chessmon when Pawn Chessmon did you did you ball, so... I think that's pretty good. Hey, it is now the next one's turn. Uh oh, because it's confused, it's going to heat around and it's going to target the thing closest to it, which is Dren. <laughs> and get a complete failure. OK, at least you're not dead. <laughs> OK, next one's turn. Uh Oh, this thing is going to sc scurry around a little bit. And oh, I forgot to confuse this one. Oh, even that one got confused? Oh, sick. Oh, oh no, the little one behind oh, it. Oh, the pink one also got confused. I was like, what? No way. Seeing how the course of the battle is going, it's going to kind of hop across. Oh, shoot. Go uh -oh. behind yeah, uh, and uh, hit uh, drop. Yeah, I was about to say, ain't I over there? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that is a complete success. Oh. As it goes across and it slashes across your back. Ow! Oh no! And it, it seems to actually grow a little empowered from that. Like it's not. Uh, um, it does dr drain some of your life force as you will take a damage, but not enough for it to begin digivolving. It appears. Okay. But it's going to so... kind of position itself near the back of the group here. All right. So I guess I'll be locking eyes on this boy. <laughs> it's now the next one's turn. This one's confused, kind of sh shifting around a little bit. So its nearest target is going to be. Gladimon. So it's going to hop up there. Guys, I think we need to target the little ones. We need to target the little ones. Wow. We that is a. To destroy the children. That is a <laughs> mixed success. Uh oh. So what I will say is that it begins latching on to drain data, but it is not going to deal. I'm going to have you roll me a roll using your toughness. Oh my god. I wish you luck. Rihanna, wish you luck. Actually, here, you know, I feel like I've been doing a lot of that for a mixed success. Here's what happens instead. Um, it begins latching on, and it will successfully drain the data of you. Uh -oh. However, it kind of exhausts itself in doing so. So Ooh. it does glow and evolve. Uh-oh. <laughs> Still, guys, don't, don't no change of plans. Target the little ones. And ah. as it does... It's still confused. It's still exhausted. So it'll actually tire itself out and fatigue itself from having to go through all that. 
So it will have, it will not be able to use its toughness rolls for the time being. So it will not be able to drain more data. That's perfect for us, guys. That's perfect. Next one's turn. Uh oh. Oh, um, and when it does that, I say because it's a mixed success, you do stay at, or yeah, you are forced back into Pawn Chessmon. Forgot about that part almost. Paul Pong Chessmon. Bro, he is getting abused. Hey, oh my god. This one's gonna go after Pong Chessmon now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no we don't need to call it Pong Chessmon. <laughs> that is a complete success. <laughs> As it latches done. onto Pong Chessmon. You're done! <laughs> And it begins glowing oh, yeah. as well, as it will also evolve. Plan does not change, boys. Stick to the plan. And in doing so, Pawn Chestmon looks a little worse to wear as it will begin to shrink even further. Oh, no. Uh... As Cupidmon is out now. You have to book it in between us or something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even oh, seen yeah. him in that form. Yeah, you. A lot of you have not actually seen. We haven't seen Pond him Chessmon except Digifold. Rion is the only one I think seen it. I've seen it. It's, yeah, I saw this. Down to Cupid Mon now, and it is now your turn. You do have two on you. Safety's your top. <laughs> Use your tamer action to evolve, or what happens if they get attacked in again? What would happen? Baby. Uh, baby oh no even further <laughs> i'm afraid what's gonna happen after that and that's what i'm scared of right yeah you're at qp bud uh what's close to keep you right now um there are two of these if you want that have evolved once in level threes one that's down to and then a group of them swarming around hmm. dren and search mon that are level twos uh, you get the sense that a lot of these are disoriented and confused, so they've been attacking whatever is closest to them as well. Uh, I'm going to use my action to run up and grab Cupimon and just try to get some distance. Sounds good. So using your action, you're going to uh, go grab Cupimon to just run back. I'm going to um, move you like back here in the distance for visual representation. Well, let me move my thing for the stream. Uh, does Cupimon have any attacks? Um, yes, if you would mind going to your character sheet, Cupimon has one skill. Oh, is it a god. Ranged... Um, it's a ranged attack. Oh, All right. that's uh, good. I'll try and hit one of the injured, uh, like, smaller ones. Make me a roll using, um, it's just gonna be a straight power roll. 2d6. <laughs> Let me see, I wanna see, I wanna see its power. Oh god. Yeah, that's some strong power it has. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you all are welcome to check out on the little character sheet there what your babies look like. Oh god. Uh... Yeah, I went and checked uh don't it's not pretty. It's not seven. pretty. Seven? Nice. One second then here. As long as it doesn't resist. Come on. Come on. Alright. So what it keep them on twirls around his little finger and it makes a tiny halo swirling around his finger and sends a special move um tiny ring <laughs> flying to or is it yeah angel ring flying through the sky angel. and it bounce and it slams into this um our this small creature as it poofs and de-digitizes our first kill it, it kind of the strange part is though <laughs> as it kind of fades off into stream of data no egg appears wow i'm guessing this is some type of virus thing Nay. As the, the level two Digimon gets the first kill. That's what I like yeah. to see. Let's go. Let's go, Rion. Uh, Let's yeah. go. I've, I've used my I've used my action to get away from That was smart. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Further point. away. That was well and done. Then, uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't even now, I would have never thought I would have a range attack. That's my Parasaur Mon's turn. Alright. I want Parasaur Mon to I want to say to Parasormon, do your, like, get, like, God, 
get revenge for uh, Pon Chesvon and smack the these the little ones that are on um, like Searchmon and like try and <laughs> smack a couple with his tail. Sounds good. Make me a roll using your power, please. Smart plays, boy. We're working together. We got this. We get rid of the little ones. All we have left is the big ones. Because I'm two, because I'm two steps, uh, two stages above, right? Parasormon gets a oh, plus yes. two, right? Yes, so you do get a plus two, correct? I do All have right. a question. Which one of us is the lowest health wise? It's like I can keep track. I thought it was you. I thought you on the floor was the lowest. Do you mean out of me and you, or the everybody in the, the team? Being concentrating, I think Pon Chessmon. I thought only. Oh yeah, because technically would. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I think, Shin, you might be on... They, how many times did they leash life off you? Like twice. That's why I was worried. I, was so like, I think you'd be on 1 HP out of 3 then. Yeah. Yeah. You almost All out. Right, well. Don't worry, I'll save you. This, this time it'll actually work. I promise. <laughs> okay, <laughs> with a complete Mon, success. What I'll say is that you were able to... Parasormon runs up, and the ones that are on you and... That get, both get smacked off. And yeah. this group of three down here oh, are now all like, uh, I'm going to say that because you're hitting a big group here with this big smack, they are going to be more vulnerable, this group on the ground, as they're knocked on the ground together. All right. Uh, so I can't do anything because I was prone, right? Um, You can just get up and do stuff if you want as a player, as a DM, or not DM, <laughs> as you're the DM now, as Dren. <laughs> all right. Can Dren get up? And uh, he would like to spin kick at least two of the ones that are in the group that Parasorma knocked off, at least. Go for an attack roll, please. This will be at a plus, um, this will be at a plus two, because they are disoriented. I hope the luck is not in here. I might have jinxed it, my bad. <laughs> okay, I'll say with a complete success. You what, one of them. Wait, 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 wait that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't it. That oh, was that's the same last roll. Yeah. yeah. I wish yeah, it was take. another one. I didn't roll, sorry. Alright, there we go. All good. Alright, with a mixed success, I'll say that you just hit one. Although right. since this one's kind of dizzy and disoriented, you will kick this one into oblivion as it dissipates. That's good. That's good. We that's good. I like that. Another one gone. I will you uh, he will land and flip his poncho and be like that's what you get for real. <laughs> Take those. And it is now a Hookmon and Drop's turn. I want to get a aim confirmed kill. So I would like me and Hookmon to aim at the same person. And I would like Hookmon to use his cannon. And I'll just use... I'll just like... Uh, I'm No, I'm back there. Never mind. I'll just spray bullets at the uh, pink one to keep it over there. But not attack it. I don't want to attack it. I just want to distract it. Like keep it You're away from me. The pink yeah, one just, next to you? Okay. yeah, just keep it away so, from everybody and just keep it there, you know. And can you confirm to me who Hookmon is attacking? Uh, it's attacking the one directly below the pink one, the closest one to me. Okay, sounds good. So Hookmon, make me an attack using the cannon. So that'll be power plus one, then another plus two since it's smaller than you. And I will have you make Jeez, me a thick. roll using your agility. Okay. Actually, sorry, Hookmon. Let me double check exactly what we've been having. Yeah, they'll be rolling oh power, I believe. So I get a plus one because of the cannon. I get a plus two because of power. So that's three. Then what about the Digimon? Um, it is two levels below you. So it is another plus two. So three plus two plus five. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thirteen. We take those. All right. So you ready your cannon and you blast into this thing. And it, this thing just kind of gets flattened a little bit as it will take a salt. You know what? You got a complete success. I'm going to say it will take two damage and dissipate as well. Let's go. The cannon. Okay, now I got to roll, roll agility, though. Okay. Since I'm using my gun to try to back it up, can I use the with the gun power? Oh, yeah. This will be the bonus from your gun as well. Okay, that's lovely. That gives me a higher chance of life. Uh, Roll. Am I weaker than this thing or the same power level? Oh, you are the same power level. So it would only be a plus two. Five, yep. All right, GG. This thing, <laughs> you fly off the spray of bullets, but it seems to be unaffected. It has this thick skin that where the bullets are plinking off of it. It is now this one's turn. 
it is going to hop over to Searchmon and try and go for an attack. Oh, no. Don't worry, Searchmon's going to get Karma right back at it. Right. Searchmon, ro um, roll me a roll using your toughness, please. Oh, sorry, Janie, roll me a roll using searches on toughness, please. You're not Searchmon, I'm Searchmon. Um, let's see, Searchmon's toughness, roll... Once again, Searchmon would be attacked. Okay, that's a complete oh, success. Imagine. As this thing attempts to drain the data of Searchmon or to evolve, but fails. Kind of awkwardly sitting on Searchmon's back now, unsure of what to do next, as now Searchmon's turn. Oh, yes. All right. I am going to... I'm going to grab this little fuck as mm -hmm. I uh, um, get uh, Searchmon to effectively act, uh, act. You know, like the spring pads in Sonic? Oh, yeah. I am going to get him, uh, get it to do that as I grab this and launch myself and it at one of these fuckers at the tree. Sounds good. Make me a roll, please. Um, would that be with oh. toughness? Um, with me... Uh, I think since you are sacrificing myself. your life force, that would be using your toughness here. I wish you yeah. luck on this. <laughs> I wish you... Plus... Uh, let's see. Plus the bond. Uh, and... Uh... Would this be a um, Karate Kid well, moment? Yes, I think so. So I believe you get to add your bonus for uh, to that. You have your... And yeah. you'll be adding your bond with Searchmon as you're doing a combo attack with it. Yeah, so that's that. That. And I'm one level above, so that's plus three. All right. 2d6 plus five. That's a 14. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. We take those. <laughs> yes, as you are able to, almost like a spring, launch yourself and this straight into it, The uh, this thing will take a damage as it is knocked up against the tree, kind of dazed and, and reeling a little bit. And you will kind of brace yourself in a way that will prevent you from getting hurt from this. We take oh those. God. I realized I'm in a super, super dumb spot right now um so am now. i still grabbing onto this thing or you are not? yes yes use it as a meat shield <laughs> yes i am i am either thinking that or you know the kind of football celebration where you spike into the ground i thought you're using it as a mace are you gonna start fighting so with it these three will now see what's going on and they will all run away Oh, they just leave? Oh. <laughs> we should not let those guys live. I'm just saying. They're kind They're of gonna dangerous. Use their entire turns to escape as best as they can. It is now you Cupid Mon and, um, and well, like Rian's turn. Get the double kill. Snipe it. Snipe it. <laughs> Hungry for the double. I do have a question. Do we know how the battle is going on next to us? Um, it seems like uh, it's going well. I get it. Okay. So... Uh... I guess, can I use my action to get Humon back at the pond chest? Oh, we can go ahead and get straight up the Gladimon if you want. Ooh, yeah, let's go get some the Gladimon. Alright. Yeah, as you focus in and your energy streaming into this, as you do a warp evolution to jump straight from Cupidmon, um, to Gladimon. Single, have I go, Sean? 
<laughs> Would it be possible for uh, Gladiamon to shoot a shockwave that would hit the ones running? They're all running in different directions, so it might be a little bit trickier. Okay. I'll, I guess I'll take the one that's, I can see, that's closest to us. And I'll have on just do a, a spinning blade attack at it. Okay. Cool. So you're going to have to run a little far away from the group to do that, by the way. Okay. Oh, we're still going. I thought they were just going to go off on there. I, I, I don't no. care. We can't let them live, bro. We can't. <laughs> we cannot. I figured story-wise they're just going to be out there and we got to hunt them down or something. True. But lower the number, the less havoc. So hey, don't get me wrong. Is. You're not talking to the guy who loves killing Digimon. Uh, plus one. Yeah, this thing power. is now a level three, so it's going to be only a plus one instead of a plus two. Okay, so power two, three. Okay, four. I do have a question. Do these Digimon even talk? You haven't tried? No. Oh, well, we haven't even tried talking. Guys, they might. If, we might be able to interrogate one. Unfortunately, that is a failure. As you lash out and jump after it, blades swirling around, but it ducks out of the way. And with a failure, it gets even further away and disappears into the woods. Capture this guy. We need to capture this little guy right here. <laughs> We need information. Darn it. So next up then is going to be Paris Roman and Dren. Uh, that's two still running out there. I think they're done gone now. They're probably gone now. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Fine. Dren uh, is gonna go over to the little one and see if it talks. If it doesn't, I'm gonna volleyball it. I'm gonna be like, drop, do you wanna game of I volleyball? I am actively- I am actively grabbing onto it. Oh, you do have already have a hold of it. So we can just interrogate right, it yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it- if it get- if it doesn't say anything, I'm gonna volleyball it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. If- uh, if it doesn't say anything, I can just remove one of the legs I'm grabbing. That's fine. Guys, right. we are brutal. Talk, little guy. I don't care. This thing literally hurt my sister or my sister's partner. I'm gonna destroy. <laughs> Alright, can we talk to it? So, yeah, can we? Oh, we can try. Um, what would you like to say? Alright. So Let's ask if we can speak. Are you... oh, yeah, I was gonna say, can you speak firstly as a first part of this? It looks at a hiss. Um, I will take that as a no. <laughs> I think we should pull a leg. Well, I'm going to say, if you're going to be, like, um, pulling off legs, then this might be a longer thing than a single round of combat. Okay. In this case, I'm going to just see if I can cry chop it on the head. <laughs> okay, go for a roll using your strength. You're going to kill it. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> it's not... Say anything. I don't... Five. Oh, you. Ah. As you go, it lashes out, and it will actually bite you as it does that. Okay. Parasormon, <laughs> crush it. I don't care. Um, and as it does, you feel your vitality being drained out as you will fall unconscious on the ground. Oh, well, God damn. damn it. <laughs> As you were put on zero run. HP. Yeah, you did. You wrote your last HP. You decided to get that close. Well, hi, Dad. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm alive. <laughs> well, I'm guessing it, it won't talk, is what I'm guessing. As it does yeah. this, am I able to react in any way? So that'll be no. on your turn, if you don't mind. Par yeah. Can power I think you can, like, squeeze tight in your grip. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, tighten my grip on it. Can Parasormon do anything still? Yeah, I can. But um, as you're unconscious, you can't command Parasormon. Yeah, I don't think you could do it. Yeah, I think that would happen. I guess I'll just let Parasormon do it by itself, then. Seeing it um, fall unconscious. Seeing you fall unconscious, it's going to panic a little bit. And it looks frustrated. It is going to 
me and letting out a strange noise directed towards it. That is a complete success. And you see the little gremlin thing that Yeah. Sorry. The little gremlin thing um, immediately fall limp and just kind of sit there motionless as Parasormana successfully charmed it. Oh. Whoa. So now will it listen? Well, it's now. I think now I'd like to hop us out of initiative order. Okay. As yep. I'm liking as this so far. This thing is kind of sitting there limp in your hands, Janie. Don't let go of it. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Don't let Wait, go. Wait, someone got knocked out, right? Oh, yeah, your brother's on the floor, unconscious. <laughs> oh, I've, 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 I've grabbed Bloody Man's hand, and we're running over there to, so glad I can heal. Okay. Pokemon, are you able to, like, splash some water on his face, see if that wakes him up? Oh. Uh... I, I don't know for, if the high pressure water would be a good idea. Just for a bit of I mean, flair, Dren's got a, like a little ghost just appearing above his head. He's like, but... oh, come on, can you splash his face? And keep it on Hook a little bit lower than high pressure, not too low. Pokemon kind of splashes some water as Gladiamon comes over. And make me a roll using Gladiamon toughness, please. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's do this. this is... It's gonna hit Gladimon. Just gotta wake him up. The water never hurt anybody. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As Gladimon dips down and puts its hands on um, Dren, and it will use its energy to heal Dren by one HP, but it'll also take one point of damage in the process. Oh, how much okay. damage has he taken so far? I, I, you're the, you uh, just hit Gladimon with a jet. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about Gladimon in general. How many times did Gladimon get hit that fight? I believe Gladimon is at um, one HP right now. <laughs> oh yes. my god! Everyone's about to die. I cannot believe our hardest fight was against this. <laughs> I think my hardest fight was against a tree. But and only one person got hurt. Let me rearrange the guys in the background a little bit here. Oh yeah, I forgot about them guys. Well. Um, I need to add one thing. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too big, actually. Okay, no, no. What we need to do is just move it down so we just uh, see the eyes because soon. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. 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 And I think that's where we're going to end the session. For... I think that's where we're going to end the session for today. Sounds good. Where were you yeah, yeah. during the battle? Yeah, yeah. It was fighting another Basically, one. Basically, if oh. this thing doesn't talk, I'm going to do the football celebration just Spike it into the earth. Because that sh uh, This little fucker tried to hurt Search One, and I don't take kindly to that kind of thing. We need his information, so don't kill him, though. Keep him alive. Yes, if the Limb from talk. limb. Grab, you see its vein on its head? Get a paper cut. Get a paper cut. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm gripping it by two limbs. Listen, you know how, like, you can... Uh, uh, how you have a whole crab and you're eating crab legs and you just turn them upwards and remove. Oh god. It's so violent. Rip. I take it seriously when kids get hurt. And these Digimon are, you know, uh, their age can be uh, measured in days to weeks. I don't take kindly to that. Understandable. Well, we got our first official like down in Not. well i say official down in but like down to have zero hp on the actual player <laughs> unconscious so yep i mean that is what you get for thinking that being on one hp and being in front of a digimon was a good idea i, I forgot it bites so. <laughs> and you also punched a digimon 
in the face and failed. And then <laughs> you also got tackled and jumped by a bunch of did you? Okay, I got that was before I did anything. They just had swarming. <laughs> They were literally, literally kicking you while you were down. Also, I just realized that butterfly has a machine, uh, like a fucking rotisserie. <laughs> yeah, that's Mothman. It has a machine gun tail. I like guns. I like this guy. Right, well, Ro great just, job, like, everyone. Thanks as a companion. <laughs> and are we good for two weeks out? Yep. Should be. Yeah. I'll, I'll be, be on Saturday, Dece December 9th for me. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Um, one more question. Do we have any conflicts on the 23rd, as that is two days before Christmas? I don't, because I do uh, nothing for Christmas. Hi, a family member's birthday. I see, I see. I'm sorry, did you say you do? My brain did not process what you just said. Family member birthday. Okay. So um, we will get to that bridge when we get to it. Okay. Yeah, we can burn that bridge once we get to it. <laughs> Yeah, we can burn that bridge as, we cr as we're crossing it. But that's some good burning stuff. Why are we going to waste it on a bridge? True. Hmm. Well, right, but well, great job, everyone. You beat up some children. Let's go. Yeah! yeah! Exposition. I mean, we got some, some conversations. Yeah. Listen, when it comes down to it, kids karate class is just another way of saying child fight club. Yeah. I want my kid to get his pent-out aggression out here in a safe environment. With punching. The gif I posted that I grew chat sums up the little ghost I would expect Jern would have. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys later. See you later. See you. Okay, bye. See ya. See ya. Oh. Oh boy. Alright. Cool. That uh... is the session done. Yeah, great job, everyone. You successfully beat my challenges. Almost. Almost died. Almost died. That was all. Yep. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yep, I'm about to raid over uh... to what Woodman wanted me to raid over. Dren is just dead. <laughs> Start the raid. <laughs> In the corner. Yeah. Join the raid, everyone. Join the raid. Get in that raid. Yep, yep. Is this the right person? He's a good friend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's fighters. He's a good friend of mine. All right. I want to. I want a wrestling. Now. I want a wrestling episode where it's just me and Drop having to tag team against two wrestling. Okay. Okay.